is it's very important to get those numbers up to show what the grassroots can do and to show and to flex our grassroots power. I'm very proud of everybody who got involved with this film. So I keep everybody posted when the ticket sales go back up for microphone check and it will be on microphonecheck.com microphonecheck.com so we're waiting on everybody to get everybody pile on in some of the new people if you're new you guys give me a follow if you are new here you're popping on in the room give me a cool follow ladies and gentlemen a few things we got to touch on before we get calls Family, family, did y'all see the story? And shout out to my sister, Nikki the God. She um, she posted this story early on. It was a black kid in Georgia. Now, this happened about a month or so ago, but um, the family's still trying to get justice. A black kid went off with his white buddies and ended up drowning somewhere. He went somewhere with his white friends, a little black kid, and didn't come home. The parents got worried, found out this kid was with his white buddies and drowned. Family, black folks, black folks, black people, black people, black, black, black people. Family, let me talk to the, the, the black people in here. When did y'all start doing this, letting your kids just go off with the, the little white friends? When did, when did this start happening? I, I'm old school as hell. Do y'all remember when that was a no-no? Let, let's keep it a, a bean. Man, when I was growing up, back in the day in FBA society, that was a no-no. And for good reason. That was just a no-no. Look, I, I remember as a kid, I had a, a white friend at school. I was in like the fifth grade, something like that. Maxwell, big fat white boy, but he was cool as hell. That was my buddy. Maxwell, real smart buddy, real witty guy. That was That was the homie. And, um, and that was like one of my best friends at school. You know, we chopped it up all the time. And, um, you know, we correspond on the phone. And then he was like, hey, man, why don't you come? Ask your mom, can you come um, spend the night at our crib, at our house? And I asked my mom, hey, mom, can my, my buddy Maxwell, the, the little white homie, um, they want you to know if I can go spend the night over there. So I'm like, hell no. I'm like, why? That's the homie. He's real cool. Just know. You'll understand when you get old. <laughs> So I remember she was adamant about not that because I got black buddies. I had black buddies. We, we stay at their house all the time. So we kind of back then it kind of threw me off because yeah, my, my the little homies we stayed at the house all the time. But she was like, no, absolutely not. Hell to the damn no, no. And our parents and grandparents at that time they didn't let us stay at our white friends' homes. They just didn't. That was kind of an unspoken rule. Like, yeah, you don't really be up in the house posted like that. And even black people, let's be real, black people who were domestics, a lot of our grandparents worked as domestics. That was another thing where black people didn't like eating at white people's homes. That was a thing. They didn't like, unless they were making the food, but they didn't, there's a thing about black folks not going to white people's houses and eating their food. That's why, it, and, and even to this day, at your job, when you're, you're black people, where you at? How many of y'all got a lot of white coworkers and then they bring stuff from home? They bring you little dishes that they made. Hi, Shaquisha. I made a delicious casserole. You should try it. It's for the whole office. Y'all know good and well y'all don't be eating that shit. Y'all sit up there and y'all smile, but y'all know good and well when they turn their backs, Y'all run right to the dumpster. Y'all know not. Y'all don't touch none of it to this day. You know you don't. And they bring that stuff to work. Oh, thanks, Karen. I'm. I'm a. I'm, I just ate. I just had lunch, but I'm gonna tear this up when I when I leave. I sure am. Mm -mm. Boy, your ass leave from work and drive right to a dumpster <laughs> and alley hoop that shit into the garbage can. You know, good and well, y'all don't eat that stuff. Yeah. So what the, the, these cases I'm seeing where black folks are going to white people's houses and you end up missing, you drown, something weird happens. You go on a hunting trip with them and you don't come back. What the hell is going on? Well, 
Who's raising these? Fo- what, what, what? I'm confused. Are y'all tethers? What's going on? Where? Who's raising these people who don't know the rules? Listen, where I live, you know, it's kind of racially mixed. And my, my sons, they have white buddies and Hispanic buddies. And my sons be like, hey, can I go to such and such house to do a sleepover? Um, hell no. Why? You'll understand when you get older. And I just, I explain to them now. I don't even wait till they get older. I explain to them now, hey, man, I don't trust them. But they're good. They're this and they're that. I don't trust them. No, no, no. I don't trust none of them. I don't, man, black folks, there's an unwritten rule. Man, you go up in a white person's house, they can literally legally do anything they want to do to you. You have no legal recourse for justice. When you get around them inside their homes, they can legally damn near do anything to you, black people. I really want y'all to get that in your head. You got to be careful. This is a very real thing. Don't let people fool you into this racial equality. Man, the people in the dominant society, they got unwritten protections, There's a common law of white supremacy. And one of the rules is if a black person is in their house, they can do whatever and most likely won't get punished. It has to be so egregious in order for them to get punished like Jeffrey Dahmer. Look how long it took Jeffrey Dahmer to get brought to justice. He, it, it had to be just body parts piled up to the ceiling in this man's house for them to say, okay, yeah, we, we might need to arrest this guy. Because people, remember, Jeffrey Dahmer, people had been telling on him for years. The black people were telling the police, hey, man, this dude is weird. Something is off. Something's going on in his apartment. They would called the police on that man dozens of times. They didn't do anything. In, in one situation, there were some black girls in the neighborhood. They actually rescued one of the damn victims. The cop came along and gave the victim back to Jeffrey Dahmer. You understand what I'm saying? When you are in these folks' homes, there's an unwritten rule that they're allowed to do whatever to you. Family, there's a case in um, West Virginia. Did y'all hear about this case where this white couple adopted these black kids and they're like, got the black kids living as slaves. The white couple just got arrested. They had black kids living in a barn during doing like field work. They had them like literally enslaved, like in the 1800s. They were... They were on that. This was in Virginia, West Virginia, right? It was a Virginia or West Virginia. Man, these folks are sick, dude. We don't, we got to understand what we're dealing with out here. We really got to understand what we're dealing with. Yeah. And letting your kids go off with their little old buddies who's non-black, man. What are y'all on? When did y'all start doing that? I'm telling you, that was a no-no when we were growing up. Big time. So, yeah, we got to stop being on this naive kumbaya thing. It's very real out here just because these white supremacists are in denial. Just like um, the sister who was the FedEx driver the other day. We posted that story about this sister talking about certain towns in Wisconsin and Illinois where they they feel a certain way about black people coming into those towns. And as a FedEx worker, she has issues there. And she's saying that, hey, some of these places, some of these little towns, they they don't really allow black people in there. So she felt a certain way about that. And then there were a bunch of white supremacists in the comment section. Oh, no, that's fake news. Oh, God, that's not true. Oh, that's uh, that's cap. There's black neighborhoods that I can't go to. So what about that? What about the black neighborhoods? Let me say this. That's a damn lie. White people can go to any neighborhood, black neighborhood and all. There's not one black neighborhood that white people are not safe in. White people are safe everywhere. Let's get, don't, don't get it twisted. White people are safe everywhere they go. White people stay in the hood. They be in the hood all the time. All right. You name a hood, there's going to be some white people in there. 
white people are the landlords. Yeah, some of the they they run some of the businesses, and on the underground tip, they be in there tricking off and buying drugs and all. They always go to the little red light district. Don't let them fool you. White people stay up in the damn hood. All right, there's no neighborhood where they can't go. Also, we got to understand these sundown towns. Um, these unwritten rules are reinforced by law enforcement in these sundown towns. That's what makes it so egregious. It's not just the regular citizens. It's the regular citizens um, with anti-black antagonism, and they're backed up by law enforcement. You understand? Because a lot of these sundown towns um, where black people would get hemmed up, it was the police helping with it. You understand? In many lynchings, it was the police helping the vigilante citizens. You don't have a, a black version of that. There's no neighborhood where black people are working with the police against white people. Zero communities like that. None. Nowhere. Don't ever let them try to make some kind of um, equal oppression game by talking about some low income neighborhood that might be somewhat dangerous, but it's not dangerous to them. It's dangerous to people who engage themselves in street activity. But yeah, we got sundown towns out here and it's very, very real. We're going to get calls in a minute. Y'all hold tight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get calls in a minute. Um, did y'all hear about Denver? Denver was giving out, um, and a couple of cities were doing this. They were giving out money to like homeless people. And I think in Denver, they were giving out like a thousand dollars to some of the homeless people there. They had some kind of program. And what happened was this kind of helped. It helped the city save money because a lot of the people kind of got up and um, used that money to get themselves together. So a lot of them got off the streets. A lot of them got it together to get gainful employment. A lot of them were not exhausting the resources that the the shelters and the mental institutions and places like that because that cost a lot of money maintaining them damn shelters so that little thousand dollars that they were giving people that low-key kind of boosted the economy because it got people up out of a rut so this is why the reparations thing is a great idea the reparations thing, man, when we get our reparations, that's going to boost the economy. That's going to be so phenomenal for the economy. The only problem people really have with it, just the psychic, um, psychological defeat they're going to feel that we actually pushed and got something done and implemented and we got a leg up, which is what we're supposed to get. So it's more of a psychological thing. It's not going to harm the economy whatsoever. Us getting reparations is going to be the greatest thing for the economy. That's going to boost the economy. That's going to limit a lot of exhaustive resor uh, resources to some of these what I call abuse institutions because you have a lot of uh, institutions out here that's maintained to systematically abuse us. So a lot of these drug treatment centers, we can dry those up because we won't have so many folks strung out because of depression. Some of these homeless shelters, some of the, the city and the state funds won't be exhausted maintaining those, the these prisons. You understand? We can kind of cut back on the, the resources going into those for-profit prisons. Um, some of these janky little predatory pawn shops and payday loan institutions that are um, very detrimental to us and exploitive to us. We can dry some of that up because that doesn't help us. You know, that that's to capitalize off of our um, being down bad to a certain degree. So us getting reparations will definitely boost the economy. So we really, really got to um, stay focused on that. All right, let me get, um, we got a lot of folks in here. Malcolm, the mayor in the building. Malcolm, the mayor. We Yo, got, Rick, can you hear me? Can you hear I me? I can hear you, brother. I can hear you. What's going on? Yo, man, salute, bro. You know I'm a day one. You yes, already you know, are. man. <laughs> all day, all day. Uh, where you, a, what I'm city you in? Are you still in Atlanta? Yeah, yeah, you know, I live in Atlanta, but I'm part-time out the country, too, man. You know, we already spoke about the 
the foreign the foreign domestic the foreign and domestic play man with the, you get the foreign money and you get the domestic money man were we you down start. in Costa Rica weren't you down in Costa Rica somewhere <laughs> man you keep saying that man <laughs> where was that I, I mean, forgot bro I forgot <laughs> for, for some reason Costa Rica keep pop. you must love Costa Rica nah I'm in Colombia I'm in okay, Cartagena yeah, Colombia it's close it's there I knew it was in yeah, South America nah, it's close. With a right okay yeah there. nah definitely man listen to all my FBAs man but this is before I, I, I speak what I came up here for I just wanted to drop this on my FBA people listen man Dumb people fleeing and coming to our land, getting money. Let's go to their land and get money, too. I'm traveling, and I brought uh, a couple properties, man, and I'm out here getting this Airbnb money. Let's get this money. Don't, di don't get it twisted. The dollar, pesos, pound is all currency, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me just say this, uh, Rick. Listen, man, we didn't need no help. FBAs, to all my FBA people, we didn't need no help making rock and roll we didn't need no help creating house music we didn't create no help i mean we didn't need no help creating country what the hell do we need help for creating hip-hop man right. come on man come right. on y'all right. it's, it's common sense man it's common sense we created it we did it dumb folks was there like I said, they was across the street looking around. They seen, they wanted to be down. They helped. They helped. I'm not going to say they wasn't there. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. They was, I'm not saying they wasn't there, but you didn't create it, bro. Please, right. do, Dr. Cologne or whatever your name is, stop. Stop. Oh, yeah. I land my plane, man. My man, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. But yeah, man, that's why y'all got to really support microphone check, man. Keep this truth out here. Yeah, the the the, the anti-FBA tethers are real mad and salty because this movie has taken off, and it's telling the truth. Um, um, Renee. Yeah. Hi. Hello, Renee. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thank you for having me in this space and giving me an opportunity to speak. Absolutely. So, what's on your mind, Renee? Uh, well, my my name is Renee. It's actually Melissa Renee Frobis, but I go by my middle name, Renee. And okay. um, I, I saw your space and I had an idea this evening that was so urgently important that I just had to uh, get online and share it. Okay. Um, so I uh, recently decided that um, after seeing the trends and everything that's happened historically and currently um, that I was going to run for president. Um, I have inter-ethnic children, so um, I have experienced racism in my life as a result of having mulatto children. And um, I'm familiar with the reparations discussion. It's ironic that you were literally just mentioning this as I was coming on um, because um, I'm initiating a campaign that um, is called CREED. And that stands for Crime, Reparations, Education, Economy, and Democracy. Okay. And the basis of my campaign is to, uh, so we in America, we've learned that we're free. We're told that we're free, but our government was created during the height of antebellum slavery. It's literally not designed for freedom. It was designed by slave owners who were intent on controlling the economy and the people of the country. And that entitlement attitude has continued in the government ever since. Um, if you look closely at uh, politics, you'll see that um, gaining entrance to politics costs money. Um, like, for instance, I live in California, and uh, when I found out that Senator Feinstein died, I decided that I was going to run it to fill her position. And that's how I discovered that in order to register as a candidate, you had to pay 2% of the uh, first year's salary which was for about $4,000. So, uh, and it's like that in a lot of states where you have to pay to gain entrance to even be a candidate. Okay. So um, that now Creed, um, it's the basis of Creed is going to co completely reset the global, well, the American economy at the very least. So this is the thing. The only reason why politicians get away with, and um, uh, capitalists, corporate owners, the only reason why they get away with the things they get away with 
is because we let them. We are 333 million people strong and the, cor the corporations, they, they are such a small percentage of the population and yet they control us. They hold us in economic slavery so that the majority of people are unable to have financial stability. They don't enjoy their lives. They don't have enough time, money, and resources to be able to have leisure and to enjoy their leisure. Um, so what I propose is, a, and I, I'm going to need the backing of the people, obviously, but my brilliant idea this evening was that if we were to, the only way we're going to achieve equality is if we have a complete economic reset. And what that means is that we have to completely reset everything so that there's no debt, there's no assets, there's no profits. So we have to make <coughs> sure that the owner of Walmart has zero assets and the lowliest of low of like, and everybody in between has okay, hold on, okay, okay, let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. So where does the reparations come in with this? With the uh, creed? Go ahead. Uh, okay. So um, I, I have a, a different idea of, so the current ideas of reparations is um, recompense or restitution for uh, past atrocities that have occurred. Right. Again. Right. So um, and honestly, it, that's not a horrible idea, but it's not the best idea either because uh, history shows that people who get large sums of money and y'all before I, please don't let lose me on this point because um, I, I know a lot of people are probably like, what? Go ahead. Um, go ahead and say it. Go ahead. Right. So um, if like, for instance, people who win the lottery, most of them end up pissing off their, their money and have nothing to show for it at the mm -hmm. end of it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. So, and, and a lot of, honestly, a lot of people, um, I was actually just looking at the numbers yesterday. Black people <sighs> make up 14% of the population, but they account for 20% of the entire impoverished pop population. Mm -hmm. So they're represented disparately in the poverty mar uh, market, I guess I'll call it, um, niche. Mm -hmm. um, so that means that the few Black people that do have assets have an outrageous amount of assets so that the rest of the, like the majority, like 90% of black people live in poverty. And that's crazy. And, and the only mm -hmm. way that we're going to fix that is if we completely equalize the tables and we give everyone the same opportunity. So um, my idea of reparations is opportunity. Right now it's proven that in communities of color, uh, the education system is not as good as in uh, more affluent areas. And it's an absolute fact that in communities of color, there's a lower rate of uh, secondary education. There is a low, a significantly lower rate of um, employment, not employment, but skilled employment. So people with degrees, people that are well-educated. It, there's a very, very few black and brown people that are well educated and have opportunities to get good jobs. And so um, my idea of reparations is if we make it accessible, education accessible and um, and create employment opportunities, then. And oh, but we also we have to restore the respect of the community. So um, what as part of my economic reset idea, um, every we're going to do a complete reset in America where everyone has zero dollars. And from there, everyone will receive a um, I'm calling it a safe, um, safe entitlement. And that stands for subsidy and family entitlement so that everyone has a basic income to be able to afford a basic standard of living. And from there, if we make education free so that everyone in like everyone everywhere can get access to education, there will be no student loans involved. There will be no debt owed and everyone so will you, have an equal. Slow down. So you're talking about almost like a socialism, like a socialist society, just remove I've, capitalism. Uh, so, uh, kind of. So, um, my idea, uh, if so, we have. Um, I forget about your ideas of economy and how everything works for just a second. All right, 
if we have um, if if we convert corporations from corporations into public trust companies, so that companies like Walmart they can't independently set a uh, profit price margin, so they won't be able to set a price for okay. on something. Yes. Okay, let's scratch all of that. Let's scratch all of that because that's that. Uh, just give us our checks. Okay. And let's just give give a, give foundational Black Americans their checks. That's all you got to do. What okay. you're saying is so impractical. It's all around the world. You got to do a whole re. It's, it's too much. Hey. That's, it's too is much. It? it is. When it comes to foundational Black Americans getting what we're just owed, what we're due, all of a sudden we get these crazy far-fetched ideas where we got to just scrap the whole economy and start over and liquidate all of the public and the private sectors and make them... No. Just well, give I, them our checks. That'll, that'll be simpler. Give what foundation. about equality? How are we ever going to achieve equality if equality never existed. The only way that equality... No, no, equality exist existed for people in the dominant white society. And they got they got more than equality. They got right. preferential treatment based on race. We were forced with inequality. I, okay? I know. So what about correcting the inequality? Okay. So I, I hear what you're saying. The inequality that exists is an economic position. So um, when the government was established... They abolish slavery. The 13th Amendment abolishes slavery except for the uh, punishment of a crime, which institutionalized the jail and prison system. From right. there, that they targeted created black people that exactly. targeted black people. Let's be very exactly. clear. I, All I, of I, these institutions were revolving around attacking it, and abusing regaining them. slaves. <laughs> It, the Go entire ahead. institution re revolved around <laughs> regaining <laughs> slaves. And so that's why af after that point, they created an economy and laws that focused on keeping financial oppression on people of color. But it ended up. No, 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 no. Let's stop that. It wasn't people of color. It was black people. When they had, let's stop that. Because when they had up them signs, it wasn't people of color. Like, niggas ain't allowed to what? Damn, brother. Sorry about that. <laughs> Guy with all these weird sound effects. So it wasn't when we were going through Jim Crow, Jim Crow was all about anti-black racism. Black right. people were being targeted. It wasn't the people of color side of town. It was the black side of town. Coloreds only, blacks uh -huh. only, whites only. Black people are not allowed in those housing contracts it was black people they were targeting hey black people no negroes so it right. wasn't color we it was a very specifically targeted racism directed at us so it has to be specifically rectified ma'am right okay. i i understand and i hear what you're saying and what i'm proposing is going to it's going to reduce the level of entitled white people so that if we equalize everything so that nobody has anything more or less than anybody else then that is an absolute equality starting point no and from a, no no that you're talking about one of these again it's, it's a all lives all lift all program it's a lift all you elevate everybody and that's going to include black people no I'm not going to do that affirmative action that affirmative action was a lift all program and we ended up getting the short end of the stick on that. Okay. Well, like I told you, you remember me mentioning I have interethnic children. My right. children are half black. Mm -hmm. I'm, they're growing up in a society that is still oppressed by racism. Uh -huh. And I find that completely unacceptable. So I would not ever consider a, a program or a, a line of action that would have my own children be targets. They're I, already targeted. If they're non-white, you're already targeted in the I, system. I'm well aware of this, and I am experiencing it right now. Now, I'm, the father, now hold on, the father of your children, where is he from? Atlanta, Georgia. Um, well, Columbus. Columbus, Georgia. Yes, sir. Got two kids? Yes, sir. 
Were you and the guy married before? No. Okay. Um, is he a foreigner? Is he a foundational Black American? Where is he from? From I know he's. You say he's in but Georgia. He's he's from. Um, well, he's from. He was born in America, Columbus, Georgia. Um, so I. Um, his family. Where is his family from? Uh, um, you mean like his ancestors? Right. Uh, I I don't know that. I I do not have that answer. Okay. You, uh, did did he have any immigrants in his family? Did you know of? Or? Uh, no, he he was he's not like a dark skinned black man. So he has he has some um, white back in his ancestry somewhere because okay. he's like a caramel color, com a caramel complected man. Like like a little Lenny Kravitz type of thing going on. Uh, uh yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I'm I'm just trying to see if he's a descendant of slaves, descendant of freedmen, um, a foundational black American. If his lineage goes back to slavery. Honestly, era. in anybody in America who's black is uh a, a, is a target honestly it doesn't matter if you're a foundational black american or a descendant of slaves or not because you are still equally liable to be targeted we understand that but we're talking about compensation for slavery and the only but, people qualify the only people qualify for that are foundational black americans that's why i was trying okay, to see if your I daughters understand. i was so, trying to see if your daughters were qualified for reparations i, I have that's, a son and a daughter so um, okay, got it. Yes, sir. So, what what's your view on reparations for Africa, though? Because Africa is still they, in fact, Africans are suffering so much more greatly than even the poorest of poor black people here mm -hmm. in America. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And because I personally like I communicate with Africans on a regular basis because as part of my um, my creed is um, if I'm able to attain the office of president, I'm planning on. Um, uh, sending aid over to Africa, not not uh, money specifically, but I'm planning on sending tools and resources for agriculture, livestock, and mm. people who want to volunteer. Um, and I'm planning on demilitarizing the United States and converting our military establishment to a builder society so that people who choose to enlist, so to speak, they will be joining to go overseas to uh, participate in building in nation building Lord, and bless, bless our heart bless your heart man you don't ma'am i i know it's a, a tall order i know <laughs> Ooh, that what i'm suggesting is a tall order but this well, is the thing go. in the interest of having a sustainable free world where everybody has the things that there are people in india and africa right now that are dying from starvation and uh -huh. from lack of clothes, that they, they are literally walking barefoot two miles just to get water. Right. I find that unacceptable. Well, let me let me and say here we this. are in America. Oh, no. Here we are in America. We've got every modern convenience and contrivance that is the result of slave and military labor. If it wasn't for the slaves and for the military members, modern technology would not exist. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if hold, it wasn't on. For hold on. Slow down, sweetie. The slow Industrial down. Revolution occurred slow down, because Renee, of slavery. Renee, 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 slow down. I got it. Here's the thing. It's like, what about reparations for Africa? Do you know Africa, some of them, when we get our reparations from the U.S. government, we're going to have a little talk with some of the, the African tribes over there because they owe us too. How you know how do you African tribes? Uh, oh, you said because of the uh, historical of them, the enslavement, the uh, brother on brothers. Some of them were selling us. Oh yeah, yeah. I okay. We got, yeah, that that ain't been rectified. We're gonna have to rectify that with some of them over there because some of those tribes they kind of brag about how they were slave traders too. So we gonna holler at them a little later. We ain't tripping on them now. And as far as the Indians. They can hold their own nuts because those Indians come over here, they're dirt poor, and then they send Vivek Rimaswamy and they send, um, what's his name? Um, um, uh, what is his name? The Republican guy. What is, family, what's his name? Vic, Nikki, hold on, let me get my sister Nikki in here. Why am I brain for it? I'm, I'm, Nikki, you, who am I talking about? What's his name? The other Indian tether who hates on us. Nikki, what's his name? No, I don't even know his name. I came up ah. to ask her a question. Okay. okay, I gotta think of this guy's name. Um, what's that? What's the guy's name? The Indian teller who went to jail and he's always denigrating 
why am I? God, I can't think of his name right now. Yo, is it Dinesh uh, D'Souza? Dinesh the damn Souza. Why did not? Yes, Dinesh D'Souza. Yes. Oh, he's one of the, the. They come over here from the slums of India, denigrating foundational Black Americans, doing everything they can to undermine us. They can hold hey. their own nuts. Nikki, go ahead and answer a question, dear. Okay, my question for you is. If you are so much con more concerned for the people, for immigrants in other countries, why don't you go run for office in an African country or an Indian country? Because over oh. here, we're trying to get foundational Black Americans our reparations. So why don't you run for office abroad? All right. Well, because, like I said, my children are, ch they're Black they're half black, they're here in America. And I was raised in America. I served in the military in America. I was homeless in America. I've experienced police brutality in America. I've experienced every hardship that, that, that America has to offer. And I'll be a good goddamn cooked goose if I let them get away with it. With what they did to me and my children, I will be a cooked goose if I let them do that. So I'm, I'm not disputing that there is a debt owed I'm simply suggesting that there is a more uh, sound way to go about it than just get issuing out lump sums of money. There's that more to it. There's why, more to they do equal. that for other groups. Why? Why? If it's good for other groups, why would it be good for us? I uh, um. Are you talking about the Native Americans? Absolutely. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you you do realize that if if one thousand people, there were only eight percent of natives left by the time the the trail of tears was done so mm -hmm. if you stood up a thousand people 80 of them were left 80 and we're just 14 percent of the population so we're 43 million so they can do the same thing with us they can do and that's going to stimulate the economy they can do the same thing and distribute the funds the exact same way they do with some of the red native american tribes all right, if what I'm suggesting too, though, is it's going to equalize everyone. And so giving out lump sum payments isn't going to fix the underlying problem of racism yes, and disparity. We're not trying to fix racism. We're trying to get a debt that's owed, <clears throat> pay people that it's owed to. This is for slavery. It's not to fix racism. Right. And so um, I it, don't don't get too defensive on this point, but I'm going to ask you a question right now. Right. Um, <clears throat> In it, it's been several generations since slavery has ended, and mm -hmm. honestly, black like I said, like I mentioned, black people in America enjoy a better quality. Even the poorest black person in America enjoys a better quality of life than the tribes of Africa from where slaves originated. And and, and so, if it honestly, if it, we enjoy a pretty good standard of living. And if it's necessary, so we have to fix the on, big okay. social problem. Slow down, slow down. Our debt that's owed to us is not contingent upon how bad other black people are doing globally. All right. That's not going to be the bar. Y'all not going to hold them up and say, hey, look, they got flies on them. They're starving. Just be happy you're not them. No, that don't work. We got higher standards. Our okay. standards are very high and we're owed something. So you're not going to point to somebody else who's down but, bad, like, hey, you can be, no, 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 that, it don't work like that. We're owed so something. I, and, we have and, a, and we live good because we've created a comfort zone for us to live good as foundational Black Americans. This wasn't something that was given to us. I, I know, but black, black people had to struggle tremendously to gain status. Right, and still do. I'm very, I'm very well aware of this. I've, Like I said, I've, I, I've transitioned the lower and middle classes because of the event, the government, what the government did to me. I've, I've been a victim of a federated racism program that caused me to suffer significant loss. My, my children were taken from me for no legal basis. I have been targeted by the government because simply for the fact that I have mulatto children. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Ray Ray, hop on real quick and chime in. How you doing, Tyreek? How you doing? I'm good, beloved. How are you? What do you think oh, about? I'm me? blessed amongst all this hot Caucasian Caucasian mess. Um, how are you doing, <laughs> uh, uh, Renee? 
I'm well, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna get down to it, Renee. We're not messing with you. Okay. Okay. The last time we listened to a a a, a, a white woman, it led to feminist a, a feminist movement where y'all benefited the most. Okay. Okay, and our mm -hmm. homes were broken up. We're not doing that again. We're not African, okay? The forefathers of this country bred us, and then we were mixed. Some of us have some other DNA. Some have a little bit of admixture. The Africans argue with us all the time. They're rude. They're ignorant. If you look at the long line of y'all, again, dumping them, you know, in our communities, right? Mm -hmm. You'll see the depletion of New York when we would say, well, why is black people before we knew who these people were in other cities? Because we all didn't have that problem. Well, why? What is in the water in Florida? What's in the water up there in New York? Now, look at D.C. is going down. Look at California. OK, mm -hmm. so no, them are not our people. We've decided to delineate from everybody including mm -hmm. you, because you go in under minority. And I, you don't want, I, I, I'm going to just tell you this, you're not going to like it, whether subconsciously or consciously, you have a problem. Even when you have a black, whatever, you know, um, nationality he is, husband, boyfriend, you don't want to give up that white woman privilege because you raise, we also know that white women raise these um, men that have shot up schools kill people. I, I don't and, support and, that. And are refusing or fighting us. Now, excuse me. I didn't interrupt you. Okay. Okay. We're not going to do that. Okay. Uh, so the audacity of you to come in here, like everybody else, including everybody you name, the Jew, the, the white races, uh, the white one that don't want to give up their little supremacy. Y'all always come telling us about world peace. We ain't never invented none of that. What land have we, we uh, stolen? Huh? What land and, have we stolen? Who who have we enslaved? Huh? I, I, you know that huh? is one. Of my who biggest have we taught our people. children to be racist? Who have we been blamed? Knowing damn well when you say black for decades since the eighties, we've been having all type of people from all these other places that may look like us, but skin folk ain't kin folk. But y'all tell us, oh, the statistics. The st black Americans ain't gonna do hardly no statistics. We don't trust y'all. We want to know why you're in this room. And then and when you come asking questions in the manner that you did, right? Like you're entitled to tell us to vote for you. I, I no, think, I came for feedback. I think I think that you should worry about mothering your children. I think that you should be taking them to the um library and letting them know about who they are and their lineage and taking them around the other side of the family. Black America, we got our own reparations. It's a debt owed. You forgot to mention segregation. Okay? Because mm -hmm. I know my family, they came from Arkansas. It's still mm -hmm. sundown down there. And in and, and and, and 1919 was the first war. It was the Red Summer where we were just fed up and they were willing to fight or die. Okay? Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to leave it there because there's other people that want to talk. But Thank you okay. so much, Ray. Wait, Thank you, and Oh, um, go ahead. Just really go quick, ahead. I'm and I'll, I'll land on this note. Um, so to answer your question, Ms. Ray Ray, I came here because um, I had this idea that I wanted to share and I wanted feedback on it. I know that as a, a, a leader and as a, even a person in life, we must have the uh, respect and coordination of our community and the people around us in order to accomplish anything. And so I wanted to... Uh, present an idea and I wanted to get feedback on it so that I could get some critical feedback so I could get right. an understanding and of what's the, needed the of what the, people's expectations are and what needs to occur for everyone's needs to get met. So right. that's why I came here. And um, I, like I and said, I appreciate feedback, you. But the feedback is we ain't really buying that program. This is another one of these trick bag. Um, keep your eye off the ball. Um, lift all programs that helps everybody and it keeps black people in the same bag. We're going to have to get specific compensation exclusively for us. We okay. were specifically targeted. We were specifically abused, specifically disenfranchised, and we need to be specifically compensated. I don't want another lift all program based on our suffering. So we just need 
checks written to foundational Black Americans as a form of compensation and compensatory justice. That's all we need. That's going to make everything better. That's going to boost the economy. And that's going to relieve a debt that's been lurking like a dark cloud over this nation for the last couple of hundred years. It has mm-hmm. to be. You understand? So okay. that's where. But thank you so much, Renee. I, I thank you so much. Family, we got to watch out for that. You got to watch out for that. Man. That was a learning lesson, family. They'll come in, hey, I, I'm white and I got some mulatto kids, so I'm not like the others. And here's my plan. And your plan is like the others. All right, you saw that? She tried to qualify herself with the, little, with the black kids, which she don't even want to say that they're black. That's a lot of the white women don't never like to admit that the kids are black. They say, well, they're mulatto, they're biracial, they're children of color, they got some black kids. So you'll lead with that so that you, so I'm not, I'm not on the white supremacy thing. And then you start talking and you're on code with the white supremacists. And part of their code is to not give us specific compensation for justice. So it's another con game and we ain't buying it. Duchess, hop on here. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Um, Thank you for having me. Yes. Um, Where are you from, Duchess? Where's that accent? Canada? Where's that accent from? No, my accent is from Armenia. Uh, okay. By Kim Kardashian, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, even though she's like a disgrace for our people. Uh-oh. Why do y'all look at her as a disgrace? Uh, well, she doesn't really represent anything our people represent, you know, which is family uh, values, you know, um, you know, um, a uh, close uh, husband and wife and uh, just like, uh, uh, you know, for example, like no sex tapes out in public. <laughs> kind <laughs> of. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what's on your mind? so what's on your mind? Yeah. You know, I really love your logic. You're a very intelligent man. Mm-hmm. And uh, I love what you're, um, you know, what you're promoting. Obviously, I'm for for reparation, but yeah. I really don't like the way you're promoting it. If how, I'm, how, so I feel like, like you are creating a division. I think there is a healthier way to promote it. But how am I promoting it? I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm not. Um, in I'm I, I'm not able to do justice to uh, do a debate on this subject. Not you. even a debate. You made a you made a statement, and you're not qualifying what your statement is. Yeah, you're because not. you're you're very wise. You're very sharp, mm-hmm. and I know you're like you're immediately going to be able to like debunk whatever I'm able, whatever I'm going to say. You know, right. so. I mean, I would love to set up a debate with you and uh, Thomas uh, Sotomayor, if I may, if you are interested. That would be amazing. So why would you as a white person want to set up a debate with me and another black person? What What is that going to be? So that's because weird. I think it would be amazing. Two brilliant minds. I think so why are you trying to hide behind no, just, no, no, because why are you trying to hide some of your suspected racism behind a black person? Now you you're playing your card. No, right. no, 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 no. This is yeah, not, yeah, 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 yeah. Racism. Why are you trying to hide your you, racism behind you, a black this person? This is what I don't like about you, Tariq. No, 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 no. Don't you know no no don't try to use Tommy. This is what I say no, 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 no. Don't try to use Tommy to hide your racism. He's not your slave. That's disrespectful to me and him. You understand? He's not your your Sambo slave. Don't try to use another black person to facilitate your racism so you can hide your hand. You understand? So he can say stuff that you can't say because you'll be perceived as a racist. That's very exploitive of him as a black person. That's the problem. No, no, no. That's the problem. No, because you want to know you're being, no, you want to be exploitive of black people. I'm not going to sit here and bicker back and forth with another black person because of you. 
It don't work like that, beloved. We don't do that. You should be stand on your own racism, ma'am. Don't try to get some black person. Now, y'all, people love doing that. That uh, what's that? That Colombian woman was up here denigrating Juneteenth, and she used Candace Owens. Well, Candace Owens said that Juneteenth was ratchet, and it, I think it is too. So you you use a black person to hide your racism. That's very exploitive, ma'am. You understand? We got to watch folks like you. That's very cold blooded and exploitive, Duchess. You understand? This is exactly what I was talking about, Tariq. The divisive part. I, I was literally. I am sure do want to divide myself away from anti black racism. racism. I, I divide myself from anti black racism. wasn't talking about racism at all. But and that is racist. To trying want. to get a black. It's racist trying no, to exploit no. black people. It only had to slow down. It's that's very racist trying to exploit black people. You're trying to exploit black people. And that's very racist. You're trying to pit me up against another black person. No. We're not doing that for you, ma'am. I'm not I'm doing only that for you. To level you to your psychological level. It was psychological level. What are you saying, ma'am? You're just saying words, Duchess. I was saying he was at your level logically. He was he would have been able to handle you logically. But I don't really sit around debating other black people because we're both victims of white supremacy. So it's absolutely pointless to Do just I look go and like serve. white supremacy to you, sir? Now what now? Do I look like a white supremacy to you, sir? I don't know. I suspect that you could be, ma'am. I don't know. But if you try to pit black people against each other, it's safe to suspect that you possibly could be, Duchess. You understand? That's very exploitative. Okay, what about... A, uh, not if I look. Go ahead. Another white person. Is that also like, would you consider that racism too? No, 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 no. Because I, I like debating white people because they're the ones in power. I love debating them, especially the white supremacist. I love Amazing. debating Amazing. Okay, I have the best person for you then. Can we do that? Actually, you know what's interesting? I had somebody else in mind, but I was afraid to mention him. Because I thought if I mention him, you're gonna call me racist. I mentioned him, so I went with the black person. So then I mentioned the black person, and you called me racist. Yeah, because the only the black That's person. Really funny. Is, yeah, because <laughs> the only reason you want the black person is because the black person is known for just using your talking points because he gets money, and I, I ain't mad at him. He exploits the white supremacists by using their talking points. That's the only reason why you wanted to use him. You understand? What white person did you have in mind, by the way? What what was the white person you had in mind? Go ahead, dear. Unmute your microphone, Duchess. Duchess, unmute your microphone, dear. Oh, sorry, I was muted. Um, um, yeah, I, I can, I, I can send you a message. It's, it's. I mean, it's not important. It's not now, like I probably already debated him. So who is it? Who's the white person? It doesn't matter. It, it, the okay. point is like that. That was like the plot twist. I was afraid to mention a white person, thinking it's gonna back. No, you uh, weren't. You weren't. Oh, you, weren't. So you weren't. You weren't. No, you weren't. All cap. But that's what ended up backfiring. That's the plot right. twist. That's really funny, actually. Right, You're right. Yeah, you, you didn't plan on me. No, you were you were just using a black person to try to hide racism behind. So we're hip to that game, Duchess. So don't do that. Don't don't do that. We're hip to it. Any form of white supremacy or suspected white it's supremacy. Not white supremacy. Oh. I was being I was actually being sensitive towards you people. Mm -hmm. you no. Know? Okay. No, you weren't sensitive to us, us people. No, you were not. Do you live in California, Duchess? Where do you live? Uh, California, sir. Glendale? Living Glendale? Uh, no, sir. Okay, okay. Just asking. And what was interesting, you're talking about all the family values from the Armenians. Boy, I know a lot of Armenians. And family value is 
they some of the Armenians got some of the biggest scams going on out here. They run all types of scams. And I know you're very well aware of this, aren't you? Duchess? Uh, Duchess? Hey, Tariq, this is what I'm talking about. You're like this uh, division, your negativity, <laughs> like, you know, you so don't but you, negative. Uh, how, how is it negative? You know, is there any... Duchess, 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 you know, especially out here in California, y'all be running a gang of scams. That's not negative. What, me pointing out what y'all do? Really? That's the negative part? How about all the scams y'all got going on? I'm not. I'm not even being judgmental. You know, I, used, the, I used to be. I used to hustle. Are, the, the I used to hustle. With, I, used to, listen, I, I used to hustle with a lot of Armenians. These guys had so many intricate scams that were just beyond belief. These guys had so many scams going on. Yeah. And you know that, ma'am. And I'm. I'm not saying that. I'm not being negative. I'm just pointing that out, ma'am. Not all of them, but a lot of them did. They had a lot of scams and hustles and a lot of street business going on. Yeah? And you're talking about all of the family values and all of that. Okay. All right. Anyway, Duchess, what else is on your mind? Any any last words, Duchess? Turn your microphone on, Duchess. Um. My, uh, no, I mean, honestly, like the the kind of Armenians that I socialize with are definitely on a, a different caliber. But mm -hmm. I I also know of the kinds that you're speaking of. Mm -hmm. I'm not delusional. There you can real talk. Yeah, of the, course. Um, yeah. Armenians be having the hookups. Hell yeah. Yeah, of <laughs> course. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, you know. You already know. You already know. Obviously, yeah. Yes, indeed. But um, um, li listen, uh, the reason I came up is like you're really sharp. You're mm -hmm. a good uh, mind. Mm -hmm. I just wish you would use it in a more positive way. It's very positive. <laughs> I, I look out for my foundational Black American family all the time. I'm very protective of foundational Black Americans. I go out of my way to make sure they are good collectively. So that's very positive. All right? Unmute yourself, Duchess. I don't have you muted, dear. Well, you know, sir, you say that, but like, do you have any solutions for your community? Like, Absolutely. To oh. your community? Oh, yes, I do. Reparations, reparations, reparations. That's going to be the solution. Let's get these reparations. We're not going to move on the political needle until we get the reparations popping. Reparations for foundational Black Americans. And then we can get this thing cranked up. We can get this economy stimulated. We can get some real compensatory justice happening that needs to happen. Right? So, you know that the white people, which you call them, which I don't like to call them white people. I like to call them, you know, European uh, Americans mm -hmm. because they do come from European background. Um, you know, they don't have power, right? Uh -oh. They hold the shots. Uh-oh. So, whatever, you know. Uh -oh. Uh oh, who who calls the shots then? Who really calls the shots? Not the white you, people. Uh oh, uh oh. Well, I I would say it's the Jews. Oh, out in space. Okay, me. Don't it. hold my words against Tariq. This is not Tariq. This is me. God. Um. So whoever's listening, please. Um. Tariq is. This is not him. Um. Uh oh. Here they go. But, the yeah, Oh, like this is a deflection. This is all about deflecting. No, it's not about deflecting. Deflect from you know, white supremacy. It ain't white supremacy. It's the Jews. No, okay. then no, if, 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 if the Jews are women. running in, why? Okay, why do Jewish people? So many of them change their names so they don't sound more Jewish, so they can blend in with white if they're running. <laughs> white 
people, do people, white people, where, who are the white people who change the Jewish, Jewish names? Um, Irish, Scottish, you know, English, Polish, Russian, Italian, you name it, everything but Jewish. They changed their last name to everything but Jewish. What are you talking about? Come on, man. Uh, you're proving my point. You know that, right? That's a, you're proving my point. Oh, how? They changed their names. They changed their names to sound more Anglo-white. And it's not the reverse. That shows you who's running things. If you're running things, you don't have to change your name to blend in. You understand? You feel me? So you you just proved my point, ma'am. Anglo white people are not changing their name to Jewish names. So that shows you who's running things. It's run by white supremacists. Yeah. That makes sense, dear? Turn your microphone on, Duchess. I don't have you muted. Definitely doesn't make sense to me, sir. Oh, it, yes, no it does. No disrespect. Seriously. It makes sense yeah, I respect it, but I definitely don't get this. Yeah, you get it. These people have so much money. They can pay. They can change their last name. They can pay to get whatever the fuck they want. You know, they can get, uh, they can pay to get their nose jobs. Mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> the fact that they have to, to do all of this stuff they to can look Anglo, that, that shows you the, the, the white supremacists are running. Sound there. European, have a European last name, pretend to be white people. But right. Why you that pretend man? to be the ones who's running things, and that's the white supremacists, no. ma'am. You proved my point. It's not. You think the it's white you, it, you just proved it, ma'am. You just proved that it's white supremacy. They're trying to be more like the Anglo whites. That's what white supremacy is all about. The closer proximity you have to Anglo whiteness, you have more stake at being a suspected white supremacist. You see? You just proved that, ma'am. So you're helping my argument. I thank you for that, Duchess. I thank you for that. We brought it back full circle. So I guess this was a learning experience for you, ma'am. All right, Duchess. Um, let me get you up out of here, dear. Any last words, Duchess? <laughs> no, I'm done here. There thank you go. You. Thank you so much. All right. See? There we go. Um, I had somebody up here I was going to get. I had somebody up here I was going to get. Oh, yeah, they try to do all of that deflection. Notice it's all about deflection. Boy, these people try to deflect. They try to deflect on, well, let's do a liftoff program and an equality program. And it's not really white supremacists. It's really the Jews. No, 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 we ain't going for that. And we got one of our professional white supremacists in here, Dr. Davinsky. One of our professional white supremacists. And I got a, I got a personal question for you, Dr. Davinsky, by the way. What's up, doctor? How are you? Salam alaikum, brother Tariq. How are you doing today? Um, good. Real quick question before you go into yours. Now, are you technically a doctor? Because a lot of you guys, you know, white supremacists are pretty smart. You guys know how to kind of hustle your way into things. Or is that just a title for online? Well, I have, I have a double degree, but no, I'm not a doctor. Okay. What kind of degree you have, by the way? Law and accounting. Oh, okay. Did you ever go up? You ever passed the bar? No, I just worked in insurance. Oh, there you go. There you go. So what's on your mind tonight, Dr. Davinsky? So my question for you is, why do you always run cover for the Jews? I thought oh, Dutch brought up Lord. a good point earlier. Oh, and God. you talked about how they changed their name to, to um, sound more Anglo, right? Right. But what, uh -huh. what, about, what about this example here? We've got... Okay, Leon Trotsky, born Lev Davidvich Bronstein. So they're not just changing their name to sound more Anglo. They weasel their way into every country and every political structure. And uh, you always just talk about it. how come you can delineate from the Africans, but we can't delineate from the Jews? Because you all share the system of white supremacy and you benefit from it. What benefits do the Jewish people who are classified as white, what don't they get that the regular white supremacists get? What don't they get? Uh, can I can't say that again. 
what are white Jewish people excluded from in the system of white supremacy? What don't they get? Y'all get the same benefits and privileges and protection. That's why we don't delineate. You guys, we don't look at you as a different group. You all uh, who believe in anti-black racism, you all are on the same page with each other. So why would yeah, we but look- a, lo- a lot of the Africans they uh they, they benefit from affirmative action when they come to America they want to claim to be this oppressed minority and we all know the real privilege in the West is being a minority and I can prove this it's and because back- when you have hold on let me let me go back and you were like um why do we delineate from Africans we're doing that because of a reparations claim we're owed something based on our lineage. So that's why we delineate. We're saying, hey, we got a reparations claim and we have to make it very specific to who's the money the money is going to go to. So that's why we're delineating. Now, we, you know, I still look at some of the African and Caribbeans who are cool with us as our brother. We're still cool. If you're a rider, we're going to look out for you. If you're a rider and if you're on code with me, if you're a foreign black person, I'll ride for you. I'll look out for you. I've been over to Africa. I've helped several people over in Africa. So the white supremacist Jewish person and the white supremacist Anglo, even though they might have some ethnic differences, they all get on code when it comes to black people. And that's the only thing that matters. It's impractical for me or any other black person to break up suspected white supremacists and all of these little groups because they have some ethnic beefs that they have behind closed doors. You understand? And all it is is a deflection, Dr. Davinsky. It's, it's a deflection to keep our eyes off of white supremacy, which is the only problem that we have. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, but if you look at the core population of America, the foundational white Americans, those aren't no Jews. Such no such thing. Who's, who's the core population of America in terms of ethnogenesis? Who built the country? Um, well, foundational Black Americans built the country. Um, do you actually? Black, hey, you black, actually believe? Look, I'm not saying that Black Americans didn't help. The foundationals didn't help. But if you're going to give the credit to any one group, it's going to be uh, foundational White Americans. No, because they failed. That's the problem. You can't give them credit because when they tried to do it on their own, they repeatedly failed, sir. This is very well documented, right? So, so if you took away all of the. Um, all of the input from the foundational white Americans and you just had the plantations, America would be like, what? It would ha- you'd have some some plantations. You'd have maybe half a railway. Uh, there's nothing there. How so? When it was black people like Horace King building um, the, railway, the railways and the bridges and many of the homes, many of the people who were the architects were the foundational black Americans who were enslaved. You had the Benjamin Bannockers designing. He was the real one designing Washington, D.C. They try to give the credit to a Frenchman and say that Benjamin Banneker memorized the blueprints. I don't believe that worth a damn. It was us doing that. It was us coming up with um, books about electricity and electric lighting. It was foundational black Americans doing that because we were doing all of the hard work out here. So we were coming up with the more ingenuity type of plans to make work easier and to make the workflow better. We were coming up with that. That's why after slavery, we got over 50,000 patents immediately. We couldn't even get patents while we were enslaved. So we are literally the foundation, sir. The white supremacists came and just colonized and took all of our ingenuity and took credit for everything. And then they started to expound on it. But when the white supremacists tried to do it on their own, Dr. Davinsky, history has shown they all failed miserably. So do you think that in, in, in Tariq's view of a, like early America, the whites were just sitting around like drinking tea and blacks were doing all the work? That's basically what they were doing, sir. They were only 5% of white Americans owned slaves at the height sir. of slavery. Sir, it was the government that had us locked in slavery. This is why they would send the armies down into Florida to try to get runaways and try to get some of those black Seminoles. It was the U.S. government that had us locked down. That's why they had the Fugitive Slave Act, which was a federal law. The U.S. government, <clears throat> the entire government was completely complicit in it, sir. So I don't want to hear about the, the certain percentages because all of the economy was built off of our backs. 
every institution was born out of anti-black racism the banking the insurance companies the railroad systems even the medical system as we know it started off well the anti- irish americans built uh, half of the railways at least irish americans didn't do a damn thing but scratch lice off their asses and eat potatoes <laughs> They didn't do a damn thing. They were indentured servants. Um, They barely survived that, and they got paid afterwards. They got freedom dues. They were. Have you ever seen those early videos of, say, like 1920s New York or 1920s Chicago or Birmingham or Sydney? You look Mm -hmm. at these kids, the the little white children, they look like 40-year-old men because they're working in coal factories, they're working sweeping chimneys. Uh, So the whole idea that, like, white Americans weren't hardworking or white people weren't hardworking hard work and there's just blacks that were doing this is disingenuous. I think that you need to put some respect on foundational white Americans. There's no foundational white American in the early days of America. We were doing all the work. The white supremacists failed when they tried to do it on their own. They tried to get these colonies. They ended up cannibalizing each other. They ended up disappearing. They tried to build up Roanoke out there in North Carolina. They all disappeared. Um, San Miguel del Guadape, well, the, the black people ran them out, out of there. When they tried to build St. Augustine in Florida, they kept repeatedly failing down there and begging for black folks, begging the Spanish crown. So if there's people. no foundational Come call on, no, to... Hold on, hold on, no, 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 let's run it all down. I'm just telling you your, your, your resume of your people. Jamestown, before the that, that slave ship came in around 1619, Um, Before that, a couple of years before that, they almost ate each other in Jamestown. They were starving and eating each other, sir. They were down bad. So they didn't get it together until the black people got involved and really helped them out. But go ahead. And and also, let me get my brother, Dr. Randy Short, in here to chime in. Dr. Short, are you here, sir? Oh, yes, my brother. Oh, yes, my brother. And what Dr. Davinsky is saying, sir. Can you please chime in? Well, yeah, what I want to say is his understanding of American history is off because even the Irish that were brought over because he doesn't know who he is and they definitely doesn't know who we are, that there were people who were not white who were in Ireland and Scotland who Mm -hmm. were brought here. So there are no foundational white Americans. There are only foundational people of Moorish descent brought here who were the majority and you had the rich English patricians and many of them of which I'm descended of, sir, you're speaking to a descendant of Margaret Buford. So (laughs) this idea that even the foundational elites of England, a lot of these people are Moorish mixes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just a fact. And one drop of black blood. It's a stupid rule you guys made, made you a hundred percent black. Therefore, there are no foundational white folks doing much. And yes, they were drinking tea and getting paid and, and drinking rum and raping folk. They didn't do the work that built the country. Black folks built New York. They built Charleston. They built Jamestown. They built Richmond. They built Boston. They did most of the railroads. However, to bolster the sagging egos of people who got 3.6 million square miles of land off of genocide, slavery, and brutality to tell you how you earned all this through some manifest destiny, which you killed so many people until the greenhouse effect on the planet changed. So what you did was you killed, you stole, you destroyed, you enslaved. That's who you are. And that's why we're owed. And I don't even want no, because I actually have a damn doctorate and you don't. And so I don't, I have one, you, you, you don't. And therefore, let's not even try that. So that's racist. So you can sit up and try to tell me something and you don't even have the training in the subject area I have. And so wherever you went to school, I went better. What's your doctorate? Uh, absolutely. It's it's in history. Doctor? It's in history. And you said you what? Accounting? And law. And we know we're accounting and law. What kind of law, sir? General law is a bachelor's. General, which means you don't know history. 
And in fact, law. Hold it. Uh, 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 because no, we, we can't do education, sir. A law degree in reality is an undergraduate degree that was professionalized for lawyers to make more money. So in reality, you have a exaggerated undergraduate degree, and I have a PhD and three masters. We're not equal. Okay, so I think you're alluding towards Cheddar Man, and if you look at genetic no, studies, I'm alluding to the fact that you don't that you we're not we're not equal. And brother Tariq, brother Tariq is right. Well, no, I don't care. I can take fifty. We just listened to this woman who called herself a daughter of El Ducci, which means that she supports fascist Mussolini, who did mm -hmm. genocide on people in Italy. I'm sorry, in, in in Libya and in Eritrea and in Ethiopia, and she's going to lecture this our brother Tariq our hero about how she has a problem with him being divisive. What's more divisive than Mussolini who started World War II doing mm. genocide on black people in Africa? How dare somebody say anything to Tariq? So, you know, we're tired and we see this whole thing and I see the setup. If you go to that lady's thing, she's got this guy, forgive me for forget his Jones, Michael Jones, Eric Michael Jones, who is an, a person known for attacking Jews. They're trying to put Tariq Nasheed as an anti-Semite so they can silence him. That's what oh, this so bullshit's all about. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't say a damn thing about Jews. So you can, you I talked about, about you. You came right, you came right hey, behind. Oh, this is, this is you came, no, 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 no. We, you, you can't tell me how to talk about my oppressor. You can't tell me how to talk about my oppressor. You can't tell me how to talk about how how we've been treated. You can't. Yeah, that's you that's can't. You just no, no, no. Not only, not only is it hilarious, not only is it hilarious, the, the people that you think are Jews aren't. So as a person of people descent, I'm offended. You mean the little European people, the Kazarians? Your okay, so type, Tariq, your, your hey, type, hey, your converts? Okay, Tariq. So um, is, is, is it correct what he said? Is it correct that you are worried about getting canceled by the Jews? That's why you can talk about white people all that, day that, and not no, have that fear. Well, no, that, that, that doesn't work. That little weak peer pressure thing where, oh, are you scared? Are you scared? That doesn't work because I'm never taking my eyes off the, the real problem, which is white supremacy. The problem is white supremacy. The whole, well, it's really the Jews. That's a deflection that you guys try to use, and it just doesn't work. But he said that you would get canceled if you spoke about the Jews. You'd be on that uh, Nick Cannon kind of world tour of yeah, apology. Because what, what, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, because Jews. I'm sorry. A, yeah, because what you, the, the white supremacists, you and your white supremacist brethren, that's a trick bag that we're not falling for. Because if we start saying something about Jewish people, you guys will be the first ones siding with them against us. When they were going after Nick Cannon, y'all white supremacists weren't supporting Nick Cannon. When the when the ADL and all these people go after Minister Farrakhan, you side with the ADL. You don't protect. Why is it? Why is there no ADL for white people? You understand that? Uh, why you, is there no ADL for white people to read? The hell you don't. You already got an ADL. It's called white supremacy. That that's <laughs> ADL within itself. That's white supremacy. Uh, you already uh, have a I... court system. You you have all of the systems that's already in your favor, sir. But you don't why need, can you come you on need, here and defame white that. people 24-7 and you, you don't, don't have need. any social repercussions, you don't have any you do cancellations, what? you're on YouTube, you're on Twitter. How come you can say all of this stuff about white people, but you'll shy away from the Jews? Because doctor said it himself that you would be well, cancelled. So that shows who has the power. What you said isn't true. I don't say anything negative about white people at all. I only talk about white supremacists, sir. Okay, so let me address something. Did you, 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 you feel me? Did you do you feel me though? I don't say anything. Look, Tariq, I know that you have to run cover. You're in LA. You make movies. No, you're in that. No, you're in that no, media no, no. You're business. Projecting, projecting. You're projecting. I don't say anything about white people. I talk about white supremacy. I have don't. You, go, I don't go after you, people because of what they're born as. If you're born as a Jewish person, there's nothing wrong with that. If you so are, do you love white people, Tariq? Don't, do you don't, love don't. white? people? Go on, because you're trying to. I'm, I'm telling you what the deal is, and you're trying to explain your way through it. I don't go after people because they're Jewish. I don't go after people because they're white. I don't go after people because they're foreign. I don't do that. That's called bigotry. To sit here and say the Jews are the pro that's bigotry. I don't believe that. I don't talk like that. That's bigotry. 
Now, the white supremacists, I got a problem with because that's an action. They're doing something that makes them white supremacists. That's action based. A person who's a foreigner undermining us, that's a tether. I got a problem with a tether. You understand? But I don't go. I don't go after people based but on Judaism on, is look look Judaism's not it's an ethno religion right but there is a supremacist uh, aspect to no, Judaism because they they posit themselves you as God's ain't. chosen people and in a lot of their you prophecies the Jews have will have slaves two, called the goyim and you can't have two supremes it's an oxymoron it's illogical you cannot have two ethnic groups who are supreme you can't have white supremacy and some other type of supremacy. By definition, sir, by logic, doesn't make no, sense. No, of course. If different groups have different kind of power systems in different countries, then you're going to have supremacist groups of those regions. In in China, no. for instance, the supreme group has been Han Chinese, and they've done a but Hanification the white of supremacy. Xinjiang province. The white they've done a Hanification. But the white supremacists, they can decimate China anytime they feel like it. All right. When we talk about ethnic groups, there's only one supreme. That's the white supremacist. So you're saying that, like, just innately we're supreme because other groups have national no, not innately, that have racial innately, supremacists. Not, in, uh, not innately, but systematically. They've created a militarized system to back up their supreme views. And they can, wi they can wipe people off. Anytime so in China, in China, there's a Hanification. It, it's been a don't long matter. process white throughout China, China to absorb all of these other matter. ethnic They got European warships on the coast of China waiting on China to act bad, waiting on China to get froggy. So, yeah, they got China in check. All right. There used to be a saying, you don't have a Chinaman's chance in hell. The China, yeah, China. and Ireland used to be the poorest country in Europe, and now it's in the top ten continuously for Human Development Index. Right. So, so what's your point? The the point uh, is white supremacy is the point. That's the point, sir. I'm just telling you what white supremacy is about. Okay? What about Arab supremacy? Well, you know, there's more Arab, there's more slaves alive today than any point in human oh, history. Most Arab, of those are in the Arab no, world. There's no Arab supremacy. Okay, I'll give you an example of. Arab oh, oh no, there's no Arab supremacy. The white supremacists, they go over there and smack the Arab community around anytime they feel like it, sir. They always got a Look, war. Look, in that. every population. Sir, they got the Arabs by the nuts with the oil. They just use them to get that oil over there. They got them guarding their oil. That's what they use. Tariq, the you're there. feigning ignorance because you know that different I'm countries not. have different ethnic struggles. Sir, and in the Sahara, and the white supremacists can go over there and topple any Arab leader anytime they feel like it. When they want to go get a Qaddafi and knock him off, they can do it anytime they feel like it. Right. But that doesn't help the people that are oppressed. In, so in that, Palestine, for instance, is one of the most oppressed sir, countries on earth. Sir, this is, this, we're talking about white supremacy. White supremacy means my group can kill your group with impunity and you can't do it to me. That's what Dr. Francis Cress Welsing said. That's what Sorry, Supreme you won't let you won't let me speak for more than ten seconds. No, 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 no. Because listen, you know I'm about to not, cook your entire world. No, you're meat. not cooking anything, sir. I'm just telling. I'm going to cook you. I'm going to cook you like some bush meat. Okay, white supremacy is my group can kill your group with impunity, and you can't do the same. Now go ahead and cook me. Okay, so every country has uh, a dominant uh, majority and then they have uh, repressed minorities within that group. And I brought up slavery because we always want to talk about reparations and we want to talk about the transatlantic slave trade. You but badly, if, you look at the Sahel, if you look at the Sahel region of Africa, uh, Mauritania, Chad, and Niger, there's a group of people there, and this predates the transatlantic slave trade, and so it's a racial stratification of the Berber caste system. At the top, you have so-called white Berbers, Arabs, and at the bottom, you have uh, blacks, uh, they're called Aklan, and that translates to be black. And this trans this predates transatlantic slave trade. About 10% of Mauritania's population are currently enslaved. So black people ruled by Arab Berbers. If these people run away from their slave masters, they're returned. Uh, in Palestine, one of the most oppressed countries on earth right now, there's still a racial stratification there where the Arabs are on top. You can look up the Afro-Palestinians. They refer to these people as slaves. They refer to their quarters in Palestine as slave quarters. So you'll always talk about 
about white supremacy. Look at the ethnic tolerance index. Australia, uh-huh. Canada, America, all of the Anglospheric countries are in the top ten, top twenty nations for the least racist. But you okay. want to, you want, no. you want to look at white okay. people. Slow down, because you're talking about some Mauritania. It don't matter. Mauritania was colonized by France. Okay, so you, you, you're talking about countries that got colonized by the white supremacists. So you're proving my point, sir. You're it proving- doesn't help. The, look, even if they were colonized by France, it doesn't right. help the millions of black people enslaved by them today. How does that How does that matter? So, well, so what? Well, hang on, hang on. Listen, listen, Tariq. If you're in Mauritania <laughs> right now and you're a black slave, they're like, oh, well, these poor Arabs were colonized by and France. The no, they're French like, we're enslaved the- to these Arabs. We're and the to- French are still running the show. They're still running the economies over there, too. The French are still running the economies, sir. So you're, you're proving my point. So uh, it, so, it, goes, so, look, it goes back my, to My what- point is, Tariq, is that you want to blame everything on white supremacy when because in actuality, the- <laughs> okay, like in actuality, if you're an oppressed ethnic group in, in Palestine, the Afro-Palestinians, they aren't talking about white people. They're talking about how the Arabs are oppressing them. The same in the Sahel region, the same all over the world. Look at how the Indians and East Africans are treated in the Gulf regions. They're treated as slaves. They're forced to sleep in shipping containers. They get their passports stolen. Is that white supremacy doing that? Yes, I don't it, think is. So. Oh, it is. It is. The white people in Europe. They're getting those Europe. slaves. Look, the European white people, so the market is there. It's a simplistic worldview that you have. It's the same thing that white people do with Jews. Or- oh, oh, no, sir. We're still talking about white supremacy. The slave market up there in Northern Africa, the buyers are European, sir. So we're still going back to... <laughs> hang on, hang on. Can I, can I, can, can I go... Yeah, yeah, slavery is alive and well. You got Europeans going up into Africa, adopting children and taking them back to Europe and treating them like slaves. So yeah, there's a buyer's market. So I I can go to the slave market in Mauritania, which they still have. I can go buy a black slave and then I can bring my slave into Europe or Australia. I can just put them in like luggage or whatever. Is this, is this the world that you live in, Tariq? Sir, they, they take black people to Europe and Australia all the time and treat them like slaves all the time. We're dealing really? with Really? Yes, they do, sir. And you know that. So I could go buy one. Okay, yeah. And now you're playing dumb. No, so no, thank- I'm being serious. Okay, now you're being dumb. Yeah, you can go buy somebody. It's a slave market. That's what a slave is. You get a person and sell them. Uh, you're trying to play dumb. All right. Anyway. Let's get um, Mama Lindsay. Mama Lindsay in the building. And we got we got over a thousand people here in the middle of the night, as we always do. Mama Lindsay, you good? Mama Lindsay. All right, Dr. Davinsky, I, I, you, 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 you cracker babbling right now. I don't want to hear that. Okay, because now you're playing dumb and I don't want to hear. All right, DeSabio, DeSabio. Hop on, DeSabio. Unmute your microphone, sir. And Mama Lindsay, if you can unmute your mic, that'd be good. DeSabio, what's up, brother? Many blessings to Tariq Nasheed. Yes. I appreciate that. What's on your mind, DeSabio? No. Yo. You know what it is, is that he is uh, trying to say that it's not the white supremacy that is doing all that um, things in uh, the Arabian continent, but it is the white supremacy because they're doing exactly what the thing is in society. When the racist tries to show out for the white supremacists to show they're a person of color, but they're for the white supremacists, that's exactly what they are doing. Right. That's, Yes, that's what yeah. they're doing. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. Let's get um, Volouier. 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 Volouier, how you doing? There you go, brother. You Haitian? No, I'm not. I'm actually, um, I'm black. Okay. Just an interesting name. The name has a little French thing to it. Yeah. That's, so what's uh, on? No, what you saying? What, what so what, saying? what? What's the name based on? 
My name is based on my logo. Okay. So what's on your mind tonight, bro? Uh, just listen to different conversations. And, um, you know, I, everybody has their own point of view on things. And, you know, I listen a lot. And uh, really don't want to take action unless action is basically where we need to take it. But uh, I've been hearing a couple of things. And as um, far as the, the white lady, I uh, forgot her name, but uh, she just didn't have her facts together. She could have wow. did a lot. She could have did a lot on this platform, but she didn't have her facts together. So uh, me and her talked on uh, DMs while y'all was talking. And um, I'm actually talked to her to get her facts together. And uh, I've been hearing a lot of things about reparations, um, how the black people should actually uh, have reparations and, 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 and have our just do. I just got to keep it real. We, we, we build entrepreneurs over here and we build black entrepreneurs uh, as far as Oakland, California. We build them. Uh, different cities. I've been in Texas. Uh, we have a lot of entrepreneurs over here, and I feel like we 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 cry for reparations. We we ask for reparations, but at the same time, we are the reparations. And what I mean by that is, we can be the most successful. Uh, heritage in America. But what we don't do, we don't do just like uh, we have Jews on here talking, we have white people on here talking. We don't really stick together like the Chinese do. And the reparations, because I, I, I sent a lot of messages, and what we do we don't really care about the reparations, even though black Americans should have reparations. We don't really give a, a I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna curse on here, but F about that. Even though F is our just due. Okay, we'll give it to the people that need it the most. You're losing me, brother. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean we don't? What? Where, where are you getting that? Where well, we don't care about reparations based on what? You got no, no, no. When I say when I said we, I mean my organization. We don't care about it. We just want other black people to actually get it. What, brother? Are you, I'm so lost with what you're saying, brother. I'm saying like, far as far as me, I'm an entrepreneur, and we actually came to a point to where it's we thought about it, we talked about it, discussed it, and said, okay, let's make our own reparations. That's cool. We're doing that, and we're, we're actually good. How? How are how you making your own reparations? That don't make sense. You're not making your own reparations. Because uh, America is, is beautiful. You're not making your own reparations. You didn't harm yourself. You, If you're running a business, you're making a profit. That ain't reparations. Reparations is something that a group of people took from you, and they're compensating you based on what they took from you. So you're not giving yourself reparations. What are you talking about, sir? What I'm saying is America didn't really take nothing from you. They took something from my ancestors. Which is that up. Which I would like to get back. But if I don't get back, my reparations to my people is helping them with jobs, helping them in the community. No, but here's doing... the thing. Hold on. No, here's the thing. Okay, I'm listening. They took money. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of money off of that free labor of our ancestors. You're right. And guess You're what right. they did with that money? They passed it down to the next white supremacist generation. Exactly. And that money built up, and then they passed it back down to the next white supremacist generation. That money didn't go anywhere. That money is still here, being compounded, being aggregated, and being boosted up 
into more trillions of dollars. That I agree. Still here. And the debt is still here that we've been passed down. They passed down the debt. We couldn't get our shit together because of the lack of resources that they've locked us I into. Agree. And we have to fight our way out of it. So some of I us agree. can come up um, because we are phenomenal people, but we shouldn't have to struggle to come up. We should have what's owed to us. We should have compensatory justice. You understand? I do. I really do. I do. And this is the reason why we're having this conversation. And this is the reason why I, I, I jumped on your, your, your platform. It's because, yes, we do. But how many years do we have to wait on that? How many years do we have to talk about that before we decide to say, you know what? This is our reparations. Y'all gave us a little bit and we're going to take a lot. And what I mean by that is y'all gave us the freedom. Well, actually, we paid for our fucking freedom. But we fought for y'all gave freedom. us enough. Y'all gave us enough to actually do what we need to do. As far as who gave us what? Who gave, what did, who gave us what? What are you talking about, brother? Who gave us what? Who, who gave us enough? Who? And what was enough? What, what are you talking about? Okay. Let me break this down. Can me and you agree that we built this country? Right. Who gave us enough? Okay. Who gave us enough? Yeah. I, I keep saying, we. We gave us enough. No, okay. To where it's, okay. We gave us enough yeah. to where we can do. Have a good night, brother. I'm not about to hear plebiscite babble. This is the damn problem when it comes to conversations about reparations. And when we do these hearings, a lot of times we get these plebiscite babblers who just pop up just to be talking. It's satianisms. Just saying shitisms. All right. That's all that is. Let's be real. There's nothing constructive about that. Cats say, okay, there's a lot of people in the room. People don't be listening to me. This is my opportunity to get on the mic. Um, um, First of all, um, I like to say I'm a black American and uh, um, we are giving ourselves reparations um, because we don't need reparations from the government because uh, they don't owe us anything because we are really from a distant planet in a parallel universe called Sputnik, all right? And as a Sputnikian, when I came to this planet, I came with $2. And now I got $30. And that's from my own ingenuity. I gave myself reparations. <sighs> okay. You, you see, plebiscite babble. Damn plebiscite babble. Just talking to be talking. Goodness freaking gracious. Beth K. Let's get Beth K in the building. Miss Beth K. Hello. How is everyone this evening? Everyone is great. Beth, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Um, what city are you in, by the way, Beth? Oh, I'm in Wisconsin. Milwaukee area. There you go. So what's on yeah. your mind? Um, I was just curious. So the crazy comedian, Owen Benjamin, he laid, he laid out an idea or a plan uh, for reparations mm -hmm. where, where instead of paying out reparations, he could just have um, people on his plantation picking cotton. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? A lot of y'all suspected white supremacists. Y'all really got to work on your wit and your trolling. Y'all really got to work on that. Because a lot of you have a lot of vitriol and because we're making progress with the reparations conversation, y'all don't know how to deal with it. So you fall back on this real weird out of context, lame trolling, and it makes y'all look bad, and it makes you look like you're shook, and it makes you look afraid, and you're hiding your fear behind that weird trolling. 
What are you really afraid of when it comes to reparations? Let's talk real. I'm not going to even dignify that troll shit with a response. What are you really afraid about reparations, Beth? Um, I'm not afraid of anything. I mean, the fact is, um, this government has been throwing reparations around to uh, troll you, the black Americans, for the last, I don't know, 50 years. It's never going to happen. They did it as a carrot to say, oh, you're going to get reparations. Just vote for us. It's never mm -hmm. happening. Yes, and it is. No, Beth, it's not. Sweetie. Beth, it's going to happen. You know why, Beth? Because what happens is the money that's being... That should Tell be me useful. where it's coming from. Tell me where um, it's coming from, from our budget in this right. country, from taxpayers and all the money that's being printed. Tell me where it's coming from, please, sir. The U.S. government, ma'am, is going to come from the U.S. government. No, the U.S. government is the taxpayers, which means right. all of us that are working right. for our money mm -hmm. and the GDP and everything that's going out and coming in. So where is it that's coming from coming. when we are broke? Where we're not broke, we're not broke. We're giving money to the Ukraine. We're not too broke for that. We're giving no. Money. They're printing we're, money and giving right. it to the Ukraine. We're printed for us. We are printing money and giving uh -huh. it to well, they, Israel. It broke. is they're printing it money. It's fake money. Right, right. No. It ain't that fake. It's they're not our money. Uh huh. You, you're just babbling, ma'am. I want the same money. They're not that broke to give money to the Ukraine. They're not that broke to give money to these illegal immigrants coming over here. They're not that broke. So we're going to get that money too for us. Man. Correct. Right. So we're well, going to, that's you what you just the, said. We're not that broke, but we are. And no, you we're know not. we are. Yes. No, we're not. And you know we are. No, we're not. You know this we are. Why, why we are a bank. Don't stop, stop, stop the little man ain't mouth, ma'am. This is why reparations for foundational black Americans is very important because we're the ones who we're going to stimulate the economy. We're not going to be like some of the immigrants who send money back and some of the Ukrainians and that money is not being spent here. We're going to boost the economy with what's owed and we're going to get reparations, Beth. We're going to get it and you're going to be very happy because the, the economy will be boosted, Beth. Because listen, Tariq, Beth. it's not. No, listen. Don't Best think people. that I don't want you to get reparations. You don't. That's oh, not what it is. Of course you don't. You, you, we know you don't, but it's going to no, happen. No, you Beth. don't know. You don't know what I think in my mind. Beth, you came in here with a uh, an anti-black troll, um, some lame troll. I you. asked you a question about right. Owen Benjamin's joke. Right. right. Okay. You came in with some lame anti-black troll material. So that shows your mindset, Beth. So, Beth, we're going to get reparations because, listen, Beth, the money... You're not already, going to get reparations. We get, we get, it was, Beth, uh, Beth, Beth, listen, dear. They can't just keep... They're already throwing the reparations money out trying to contain us. They spend billions of dollars on militarized police weaponry and millions of dollars on payouts for non-justice for... Cops harming people in the city, all around the country. These cities have to pay out millions and millions and millions of dollars. It's Man. all a manipulation, sir. <laughs> they are not going to pay a dime in rent. Yes, they are, ma'am, because they're already throwing the money away. And at some point, ma'am, they're going to have to just be practical about it and just give us the money so that we can produce justice. You cannot sustain a society militarily and just keep funding a militarized society to suppress people. The money what runs What militarized out. society are you talking about? I'm talking about the system of white supremacy. They, they create a militarized white system. White supremacy? Are you yes. being serious right now? Where? Yes. What? You, you, ma'am. You are a, a, a perfect example of white supremacy. You. You came in the room displaying white supremacy, ma'am. That would be you. You just muted me. <laughs> Right, because I'm telling you, you asked me a question, and I want you said you know? white supremacy, yes. right? Correct. Uh huh. Is the majority yeah. of this country is that correct? White supremacy, ma'am. Listen, white supremacy dominates the entire planet, not just this country. No, it doesn't. All countries, yes, it does. What name percentage, a country? What name percentage a, okay. of the world All. is white Europeans? Oh, no, Not no, no, Jews, no. white no, Europeans. No, 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 what no. Percentage? We, don't, we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that here, man. We don't do the Jewish deflection. We're talking about white supremacy, not religion. 
Um, the white supremacists dominate. I wasn't all talking the world. about religion. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to deflect. No, there's, a, di there's a big difference no, 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 between no, no, white no, Europeans. No, 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 it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. You all practice white supremacy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, I, it is. I say so, and we've already debunked that, so we're not going to cover that here. But we're talking there about There is white no debunking about that. Is, you it's know white. there's a difference. You're you're no, saying no, that, and you know no, there's not. a difference between no, white Europeans and Jews. No. No, when y'all deal with black people, there's no difference. The white supremacists in both communities are anti-black towards us, and that's all that's that matters. That's not true, because yes, foundational black Americans that you talk about separate themselves from the migrants that are coming up over now to USA from Africa. They separate themselves, Correct. Um, no, well, the migrants separate themselves from us, and we are delineating because of a reparations claim, because our reparations claim cannot go to everybody, ma'am. So that's why we delineate. That's for a specific legal claim. So you're so, so you're you, only delineating you, you, over legal. You share the same views, protections, and set asides and benefits as. All of the people classified as white who believe in white supremacy, ma'am. So we don't break so, people up. So in other words, we go to work, get jobs. You go what, dear? Go ahead. Say what you're saying, dear. Beth, I don't have you blocked, dear. I, mean, I don't stop have, muting me. I don't um, have, go ahead, dear. So, so the white people, the white, the white uh, supremacists, supremacists. Right. we go to work and get jobs. That's the problem in the country. That's what we do wrong. That, that, that's some that's some janky straw man argument that you created. No, Nobody. it's not a stram, straw man. Argument. <laughs> yes, it, man. You just made you just you just made up a straw man. You you being a white supremacist, ma'am. You're just saying stuff. It's I'm white and I say so. You're doing a lot of I'm white and I say so, ma'am. That's what makes me suspect that you are a white supremacist based on your tactics and your views, ma'am. But but Beth, and you're not but addressing Beth. the fact that. The Jewish no, no, people. No, no, no. What? No, no, no. We don't. We don't deflect into Jewish people. We don't man. talk about Jewish people. We don't. We don't deflect into Jewish deflect people. Deflect. Right. That's Jewish bigotry. People. That's that's bigotry. You're talking. Bigotry. We don't. Do Is bigotry. it anti-Semitism? No, no. You you you're. Is it racism? You're engaging in bigotry. That's more white supremacy. Bigotry. Man. Right. I don't know. Why am I going to criticize okay. a person based on their ethno-religious beliefs? I don't criticize white people, ma'am. What percentage of the population? Why are you engaging in bigotry? That's very bigoted. No, man. I was going to ask you a question. But no, but what ma percentage of why the population? Are you why are you denigrating Jewish people? Runs That's the big. country, like as in media. But ma'am, why are you denigrating Jewish? Are they people? primarily Jewish people or are they white people? They're white people. Are, are they black run people? Television. Black people. Oh, they're white, white people. White. What black? Europeans? What black people are running the media? I don't know. I was asking you. Right. No, not too many. Black people don't run the media. It's run by the white supremacists. No, it's run by the Jews. No. That's a, there's a difference. It's run by the Jews. No, there's white people, the white Jews. The no. black Jews don't well, own yeah, it. Yeah, they're white. There you go. No, there are the no black, black Jews. That's yeah. Not, unless well, what they're do you mean? Bouillet. What, 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 it's not black Jews. What are you talking about? Unless they're Bouye, the the uh, the rap people that sign over the What are you knife. talking about? They are black Jews. What white what black, black, Jews? Jews? black Jews? Black Jews all in Ethiopia. The black Jews go to Israel. There's black oh. Jewish tribes in Africa. So in the United States of slow America, down, slow down. what white slow down. wait don't slow down. You, you said something and you just got easily debunked and now you want to change the subject. Why did you lie like that and say there were no black Jews? Why would you tell that lie? See, this is why we, we if you're going to lie, we, we can't really continue. You can't lie and then run away from your lie. How are you going to say there are no you black You just people? changed the subject. We were talking about no. who runs the country. Right. And I was asking who Jews. runs the media. No. And you said, I said Jews. Who? And then I said, well, there's black Jews. They're not running anything. And you said there are no black Jews. Stop muting me. <laughs> right. All right, but no, no, you're not going to talk over me. Why did you lie and say there were no black Jews? There, yes, there are I black Jews. I didn't. Jews. I asked you, who are the black Jews? There aren't black Jews. Where are they? 
And I just told you there's a Jewish, there's Jewish tribes in Africa. You have Ethiopian Jews. You have Jews who go over to Israel and they're discriminated against by the white ones. This is very well so, documented. So why, so why is the problem all the way around? White, is white, white people are the problems. White supremacists, not white people. You sound like white a Jew. People. Are white you Jewish? People. Yeah, you're trolling again, ma'am. No, I'm asking means a I'm question. Winning. Are you Jewish? Trolling, no. Trolling, trolling means I'm winning, ma'am. You're not winning. Actually. I'm winning because you're trolling, ma'am. And that means no, I'm... No, I asked you a question. Well, are you Jewish? A, do I need to take a victory lap, ma'am? Because you're trolling at this point, ma'am. I'm enjoying this. Right, because you've run out of material. And black I have da- not run out of black material. Daddy, black I'm enjoying daddy this spanking. conversation. You, you like getting spanked by black daddy? Oh, that's sad. No. Black daddy is spanking you intellectually. So you're a Jew? So you're just you're saying anything? You're a black anything. Jew? That's weird. Okay, so now the unfunny trolling is about to start. So let me get my victory lap on. Hey, Beth. Okay, Beth. So you're tapping out. When you start trolling, that means you're tapping out. And I, I will... Except your defeat. I didn't tap that, out. I'm yes, still you did. Here. No, no, no. You're trolling, ma'am. And that's, no, I'm still here. That's the white supremacist way of tapping out. And I accept. <laughs> white supremacist. Yes, I want to go ahead and. No, I it's wanna... really silly. There's no, no white supremacy in this country. You're being <laughs> silly about this. Everybody did, would then, agree with then it. Then why no. did your people? Every why did you, normal why did, human being. Then why did your people have laws talking about white supremacy? Why did your people say that, ma'am? Why did they say that they're building a system? Stop <laughs> muting me. No, ma'am, when? no, ma'am, ma'am. When? This, what? Joe ma'am, Biden this or is something? Ma'am, when? Ma'am. When? when? Yes. Ma'am, what? you're not. You can't talk over Black Daddy now. You can't do that. All right, you got to calm down. I apologize, sir. Go all right. ahead. All right, all right. Use that mouth to shut up and smoke meth, but not talk over me, um, ma'am. White supremacy has been the law of the land. They've been practicing white supremacy by name and reinforcing white supremacy. This is their term. This is from your community. They told us they were white. Who's they and when? The white supremacists. And they've been doing this for the last when? Uh, for the last 200 years. They've been promoting. Tariq, white- Tariq, Tariq. It's 2024. Can you And please? we're still dealing with white supremacy. No, still- we're not. Where? Just- Tell me yeah, where. All areas of activity. Tell me where. Then why does DEI exist? Because that's a figment of white supremacism. No, it's you're just being it's funny. A, it's you're a the white troll. Supremac- like, that's dude, you're supremac- being fucking ma'am, funny. Ma'am, is- DEI is another boogeyman acronym to attack black people. Just like CRT, just like affirmative action. You guys always have to create these boogeyman ideologies as a way to attack black people, which is further proof of white supremacy. Okay. I never attacked black people. You ma'am, keep you muting me. <laughs> what are you talking the, about? Yes, you did. And you came in the no, room. No, I didn't. You came Stop. in with, with weird trolling. Beth, Beth. No, I was Beth, making Beth, a Beth, joke Beth, because Beth, Owen Beth. Benjamin. Ha, ha, what? Beth. Go ahead. Beth, um, where'd you go to college, Beth? I am super intelligent. I didn't need college. There you I go. Have hey, high IQ. Right, me either. I didn't go to college either. I'm not saying that as a, um, so you didn't go to college. How many black men were you with when you were in your teens or your early twenties? Are you being serious right now? Being very serious. How many black men were you? I, I didn't. Really? Really? I find that hard to believe, Beth. Why is that, Tariq? Because a lot of you white supremacist women had a little run here and there. Tariq, stop and then when, with the and white supremacists. And then when you get it's older. It's really when, funny. And then when you get older, and then when you get a little older, you get a little long in the tooth, then you take on these white supremacist views. My tephuses are not long. Yeah. Okay. Your teeth and your titties are long. My tephuses. Yeah. Yeah. No. None of them are long. Yeah. 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 And I think them long titties were in the mouth of a brother back in the day. <laughs> All right, listen. Let's agree to I handshake. Think, I think listen. them titties. I think them titties were sucked on Tariq. by a Tyrone. All right, <laughs> Tariq, you're being very gross. No, no, <laughs> ma'am. I shake ma'am, your hand. Does your titty and- nipple smell like Hennessy and Newports? Ew. What? Ew, no. You had you a hood, <laughs> <laughs> didn't you? Oh my- 
Uh, and no, now you want to flip funny. The, now you want to flip the script. All no, right? but I'm having fun. Yeah, I'm I would like to too. just like Daquan had fun up in your cooter cat. All right. Wow. Yeah, come on. Let's let's. let's you don't on. have to be so rude. I, I'm, I'm um, y'all y'all be having a rendezvous with the brothers, and then y'all want to switch up and be on some white supremacist stuff. But there's no white supremacist. What the hell are you talking about? Man, man. Oh. My goodness. My anyway, Beth. Anyway, thank you so much, Beth. I appreciate you, dear. All right, I'm gonna let you get back to the trailer park. All right, Beth. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, you can tell these women that had a little rendezvous with the brothers. All right. This this Marcus dude. You what's with them? This you you're doing a lot of trolling in the comment section. Which is weird, dude. A lot of weird trolling. You gotta cut that out, bro. Yeah, you got a lot of weird dudes be popping in the mix just doing weirdo stuff. Watch this stuff. You are re trolling real hard in the comment section. You gotta watch a lot of people on these spaces. You got people who be deliberately trying to instigate little beefs and stuff like that on some real oppy shit. You got some real oppy cats who lurk around in these spaces who try to low-key instigate altercations and beefs and it's very clumsy the way you're doing it because you can tell that somebody didn't sent you in here to try to do something weird all right all right let me get what's we're having a decent conversation tonight we got a lot of people in here we got 1100 people in the building right now this is the middle of the night. Um, what's your name? Um, David. Hop on, David. And um, Tariq. What's um, up? I, I just want to give you um, a couple of facts. Um, Jews are not white, even though they might have uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, as they, white skin. The, the uh, white just ones listen are. to the facts. The I'm, I'm literally going to speak the truth. The a Jew will are. actually admit that they are not white. The white ones are, sir. The white ones are. A white Jew will admit that they're not actually white. They will always tell you that they're a Jew. They are not actually white. They well, might have. It's a lie. That's a lie. That's just not true. You're already lying. So that I'm not lying, Teresa. Yes, you, yes, you are. You're lying, and that nullifies everything that you have to say. What you're doing is practicing white supremacy, sir. This isn't white supremacy. This is what the it Jew is. will actually tell you. This is what I've been told by actual Jews. They will admit no. that they are not. No, there's Jewish people who classify themselves as white, and you're trying to deflect from that, sir. And that's what a white supremacist would do. So we're not buying it, David. All right. Just, Just for because the you can't handle the facts, you we're not fucking buying. stupid nigger oh, cunt. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to be racist as fuck right now because you, you kept go. muting there me. Instead of letting go. me there make a go. valid there point, you stupid there low you IQ. Go. Oh, no, no, no. See, there you go. I wanted to come on out. Come on out. Just be the white supremacist you are. Don't try to hide behind Jewish people. You be the white supremacist that you're supposed to be. I like when you're very, you're very honest about being white supremacist. Don't try to hide it. Do not try to hide it, ladies and gentlemen, and don't try to throw the N-word around. That doesn't bother us, by the way. That doesn't bother us, David, because we know you're sitting in that trailer park with struggle jeans. Uh, actually, right? no, I live in a fucking stone-built house. Uh, you're the one oh, living yeah. in... You, you sound like a methed out Harry Potter, okay? You over there in Hogwarts with a meth pipe. So, sir, you're struggling, and you're, you got struggle jeans, all right. The low birth rates are kicking that ass right now with your pepper uh, pig. Tariq, yeah. can I give you some facts? You Did can't give me nothing, little struggle genius. Irish white people were slaves before niggers. Okay, it doesn't matter because you were the N-words of Europe. You weren't even classified as white until later. They didn't even let you into whiteness. All right. They used to portray you as simians and ape-like creatures. So, yeah, so we two in words sitting in a tree, ain't we? All right? So, yeah, you think you eat? Yeah, I get called potato. You, what you say with your little broke self? I, I couldn't hear you, your, your little struggle phone. Uh, I said, I get called potato nigger. Uh, you're just a slow. Okay, it's not really that. You're just a low IQ nigger. 
well, damn it, I'm not struggling and fleeing like you, sir, from the slums of Europe. All right. So how high is Oh, that? I didn't leave Europe. I'm still here. No, um, sir, you're probably somewhere in Canada or over here in the United No, States. I'm actually in the country I was born in. Um, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You're not in little... Yes, old... I'm Irish. You're not over there in little janky Ireland, okay? I'm Irish and I still live in Ireland, you look... Okay, you sound like a musty leprechaun, all right? Trying to get me gold <laughs> with your struggle genes. I right? can sound American if that'll help. Okay, well, why don't you get them birth rates up? What are you going to oh, do? Oh, I am. I'm actually... Uh, How are you going to do that? Th 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 there is what? Three different women um, impregnated by me recently. And yes, they've done the pregnancy test. They are actually pregnant. They're all white women as well. Well, stop it. Stop it, sir. You probably got you an Indian refugee over there. You about to have your little tar bash. You uh, to... No, I don't, I don't touch. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yes. You got you an East Indian woman pregnant, and so you about to have a, a little baklava eating baby, all right? You about to have a little leprechaun with a red dot, sir. It's about to be real funny style. No, I'm not a race mixing food. No, 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 sir. You are babbling white supremacist with struggle genes, and you're very mad. So anyway, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm yes. delighted that I'm irritated. Uh, well, I'm delighted that you can leave. Top of the morning to you. There you go. I got you up out of here. Let them genes struggle, buddy. Let them struggle. Well, we're in here heavy. Speaking of musty, um, the Rootwork deodorant is available at rootworkstyle.com. Rootwork deodorant available at rootworkstyle.com, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Uh, well, we are in here deep. 1,100 people in the middle of the night. Um, let's get Prodigal. I think I remember having you in here before, Prodigal. Prodigal. And I got to do a, I do a shoot in the morning. I got to do a film shoot. Well, not in the morning, in the afternoon. So I ain't going to be up here too, too late. Prodigal. What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm good. How are you, Prodigal? I'm all right. I'm just confused because how many Jews are Nazis, KKK, or in white supremacist organizations? I mean, is that your argument you're making? Um, yeah, you do have a lot. Well, you did have a lot of um, um, white supremacist Jewish people who were actually in Nazi and white supremacist organizations. You had a lot of Jewish people who were connected to the alt right. So you have. Um, I, I just I just find it. I, I listen. I'm not. It, anti-semitic by any measure but right. somebody somebody said it earlier depending on the situation they identify as white they don't if you look at mass migration a lot of the groups are led by people of jewish ethnic faith or religion and this is something that affects fbas as well as other groups i mean you're being pushed out of you know a lot of your own communities look at compton look at other people the latinos that's are just taking it over that's the white supremacy that, that's white supremacy pushing yeah. the border policies that's what you're saying yeah. Yeah, white supremacy. You talking about Compton and all these were these places were sundown towns. Some of these places used to just have signs saying whites only. It didn't say Jewish only. It said whites only. I'm talking about the last 20, 30 years. Right, but I'm saying mass but, migration. But, but like the, if you if you're going to deal with a product, you have the, to deal with it. At, the remnants, the remnants of that. Just because they took the signs down, the ideology didn't go away. So the same mindset, it's still there. The white supremacist mindset. We're talking about white supremacy. So, I mean, uh, you got to you got to actually, you know, be able to talk about the facts. I'm not sure if you're paid. I mean, a lot of leaders are paid by certain groups. Right. You know, you the, Which is a you project. Look, you, look, you look at the SPLC. That's you a project. At a, you look at the ADL. These uh, th right. those led, allegedly led white organizations seem to right. hate white people and want to erase them. And they're no, not. I mean, what are you talking about? Have you looked at some of their definitions and, and what they state? You know, even saying something as, as simple as it's okay to be white and deem as racist. Like, they don't it's they it's just weird because I heard Myron call you out on this and you started like a fool. And you're who? Okay, you're projecting, sir. You're trying to act like you got some imaginary win. Nobody called me out on anything. I debunked about 20 anti-black races and I washed all of them and embarrassed them all across the Internet. Prodigal. And that sounds it's like weird. You can't talk about certain. 
And you're salty because of that, sir. And you're mad because the whole Jewish deflection thing kept falling flat and it's falling No, flat. I think you're bad faith. I think that no, no, you can't, no, no, you can't no, address no, 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 no. You're upset because that ain't working. When I'm not. I, do, I, I, I know. That's you not know, working. Starting... It's not working, Prodigal. You're never going to deflect away from the real issue, which is white supremacy. You're not going to make up on another imaginary... Well, it's going to be hard to get reparations. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. We I, I don't need to. That's your own, your, the Democrats are replacing you. They're bringing in... Right. The, oh, they're, it's always, oh, it's always the Democrats or it's well, the Republicans. I mean, it's clear. I mean, oh, if you want... No, 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 it, no. It's not a political group. All of you I, guys... I'm talking about political it. power. You have to have a means <laughs> to an end. When you're being no. replaced by... Asians and Central and South and Americans, and your voting block is, and the white supremacists are orchestrating that, sir. That's orchestrated by the they're they're allowed in by the white supremacists, sir. Right, right. The white supremacists are allowing them in, sir. Right. Come on, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I, I'm muted. You mute every two seconds because I make right, a right. point. It's pretty sad right. that you can't let really me no. speak. You're that scared. No, but no, because you're not going to talk over me. You're sir. that scared. Yeah, you no, you're, not, not, you're not going to talk over me. This is not your uncle's penis. You're not going to open your mouth and start bobbing. You're that's that's scared. It's weird. No, no, it's no, very no, no, weird. no, 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 no. You don't, you don't talk and just babble over me, sir. You, you're not going to do that now. You got to have some decorum in here, prodigal. I'll take the victory. It's, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Right. No, 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 no. You're not going to crack or babble. You're not going to do that. You got to have decorum, sir. All right. He, he left. Right. You don't get to come in here and babble. All right. You're not just going to say a bunch of nonsense. You're not going to deflect. Y'all think you're going to come in here and deflect on the Republicans, then the Democrats, then the Jews. You know, no, no. It's white supremacy. That's the problem. And you're not going to deflect away from that. All right. We got some more white supremacist deflectors in here. Okay. Let's get Larry the camel and he got something about Zionism on his page, so that's going to be interesting. Larry, hop on. And Waquil, you in here, brother? Waquil? Waquil? I was yeah, going to yeah. Yeah, I'm I was gonna say let Dr. Davinsky up. Thanks I'm for here. letting me up. I was going to vouch for him. You've had him Hold on, before. Larry. Hold on, Larry. Hold on. Let me get Waquil. Waquil, what's up, brother? What's going on? How's the brother? I'm good, man. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you gotta. Uh, these guys, they be bringing up this Jewish thing. They like uh, obsessed with this Jewish thing, ain't they? Oh yeah, big time. It's a major deflection that they're trying to do, and it ain't working. And they're getting frustrated because we're not letting them deflect. Uh, you know, and when I was in, in the joint, the Italians, the Jews, all stick together with the Anglo's against the blacks and then right. the Puerto Ricans are join in at some times. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And they've always been like that. And I'm, that's why I don't, we're not going to divide them up in little subgroups and they're all working together. No, no, no. You work together, you get judged together. So everybody from these different ethnic groups who practice anti-black racism, you're one and the same. You are all one and the same. Larry the Camel, hop on, man. How you doing? How you guys doing? I would say uh, I came up to let uh, Davinsky, you've had him up here before. I seen him waving his hand. Dr. Davinsky, I think he's in your uh, requests. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's a white man and uh, he's got some interesting insights. I think he spoke on your uh, show Larry, before Larry, here. Larry, slow down. You're, you're, you're coming in late. We already talked to him. <clears throat> I already had him up, Larry. I've talked to him. We oh, you already him. had him up. Yeah, we had a long conversation with him already, so so you yeah, can't. I'll, I'll, I'll switch down. To this. On your mind, now, don't don't try to hide behind him. What's your ideology? Where are you from, Larry? Where am I from? I'm from. I'm stateless. I'm from a sanctioned country. Oh, I'm from a God. poor African country. And I, th I see the world heading out. I think basically what I'm seeing here is governments Stop around that. the world are behaving Larry, like third Larry. world politicians. Stop that. Stop I think uh, I think it's happened in the United States. I Larry, think I, I, Larry, 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 you stopped. You don't don't start babbling. It wasn't a trick question. You should, don't be ashamed the way you're from. Where's your family from, man? What part of Africa? Where am I from? I'm from I'm from East Africa, a country called Somalia. 
Right. Now, why is that so hard to say? It's not hard to say. Don't be ashamed. We know it's down bad, but don't be I'm, ashamed. I'm, I'm from a sanctioned state. Third yeah. world. Africa. Right. What was your, you know, I know your name isn't Larry. What was your name back home? No, this is my, uh, this is my. What was your name back home? Larry? Alhamdulillah. Larry? One of the 25 prophets of the Islamic faith, of the Abrahamic faiths, I would say. Larry, are you living in Minnesota now, Larry? No, I'm not from Minnesota. You where are you living now? Right now, I'm in uh, I'm in Africa. You're not in Africa. I'm back in Africa. I, I left the no, West. You're... I left oh, the West. Not. Currently in Africa. Okay, Larry. Why wouldn't I be in Africa? Why wouldn't I I'm be not, in Africa? I'm not just going to have a musty tether sitting here lying just for the sake of lying. All right. This, fam, y'all want to know why we delineate? This is why. That's why. This dude just, he... He couldn't even get the conversation started without just lying for the sake of lying, lying and babbling. All right. And we're not supposed to de delineate from lying, babbling tethers. Huh? This man was just coming up with lies just for the hell of it. Yeah. And we're supposed to be on some Pan-African vibe with that. huh? We're supposed to be building with that. You see why we ain't never got nothing popping with that? What we gonna get popping with that? Nothing. All right. Che, let's get let's get Che in here. Che, hop on. All right, Che, your microphone ain't working. Um, Beth, I've already had you on, dear. You, shouldn't you be looking at um, a Black Planet page or something like that? Hello? What's up, Che? Hey, what's up, man? Um, I just wanted to piggyback off of what that white supremacist lady was saying, a whole bunch of bullish about um that there's no such thing as white supremacy. If you go to her page, right. all she does is obsess about black people and specifically black women or you know, little stuff like that. Um, these people are insane. They act as if we're not seeing what we're seeing or going with what we're going through as black people in this country. And it's just, it's fucking irritating. So, you know, I really, yes, I really appreciate you spending 10 toes down on everything regarding these, these individuals. I really yes. appreciate that. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you so much. I appreciate no you. All right. But well, we in here heavy. We're in here heavy. Um, by the way, everybody can go to Hidden History Museum. Don't forget, we still got the Hidden History Museum. Everybody can make donations to the Hidden History Museum. Make your weekly and monthly donation to the Hidden History Museum. And also get the book on the Hidden History Museum website called Hidden Heroes from A to Z. A children's book that breaks down a lot of good historic game. Very good book for you kids. HiddenHistoryMuseum.com. That's where you can get the book. All right. Let's get some more folks in here. Um, you know what I found out um, the other day we were talking about hip hop and MC Shan made a video talking about how black people, only thing black people brought to rap was or hip hop was the rapping and all of the Puerto Ricans and all these other groups brought everything else. The, the They brought the fashion to hip hop, talking about how they were, the black artists were dressing like the Puerto Ricans in the eighties, which is horse crap. And people are like, Where the, what the hell is this dude talking about? Now we, we know that Shan was on the pipe at one point. Somebody asked him, and I saw it, I should have put this up. They asked him about his background, his lineage. Shan said his people are from the damn Virgin Islands. So that explains it. When he was saying that, I said, we need to check his background. And somebody asked him in like in a comment section, then he responded that his people were from the Virgin Islands. So MC Shan is a damn tether. Okay? That's why you see these people saying all this weird stuff about hip hop and who created this and who didn't. And you'll see that they got some foreign backgrounds, but MC Shan is from the Virgin islands. I, I wish I had the screenshot of, um, 
the sister who asked him about his background. You there? So yeah, that explains a lot. Y'all hear my zapper in the back? I got my insect zapper. I love my insect zapper. Because late at night, little bugs, my kids be running in and out the house, so bugs being here. I know y'all hear a popping sound in the back. That's my guilty pleasure. I got my zapper on my desk, and it be zapping the hell out them damn insects. I love it. We lighten their asses up. Yeah. All right, let me see who we got in here. I ain't going to be on here too, too long because I do got stuff to do in the morning. You good over there, Beth? You know, Beth, I don't know why Beth is trying to get back in. Hold on, Beth, let me get Beth in. Beth, why are you trying to get back in, Beth? Hop on, Beth. You, you, you're requesting to get back in. Why are you trying to get up under Black Daddy? Why are you trying to get back in? <laughs> What's going on with that? Ah. Uh. Listen, I like talking to people. Um, I, I'm not, listen, I'm not someone who likes to uh, get in altercations. Of course so, not. Right. It sounds like you don't either. So, right. No altercation at all. This is an education. It's an education, not an altercation. It I was is. Educating. Yes, I was educating you. This is a school for you. You're educating me? Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh. Well, Listen to you. you're going well, to Black I'm Daddy enjoying... Uni you're, you're going to Black Daddy University. You're going to an HBCU <laughs> right now. Yeah? You're right. like Rachel Dolezal, but go ahead. Uh, except I didn't like brown my skin and pretend I'm a black person when I'm a I white know. girl. I know, but kind of back in the day, you know. the brothers the brothers browned that cooter cat. But go ahead. Go ahead. Dude, yes. why do you have to be so disgusting? It's That's just inappropriate. Disgusting. No, it's inappropriate. I know you're married. I know Don't you're married. mute me, though. Don't mute I'm me. I'm not. And I know you're married to a nice, nice, good white supremacist male. I know that. No, listen. And, and you don't, it's you, not. Why do you have to? Listen. Why do you have to do this? You have a huge following. Right. You don't have to make. Right. You don't have to make every white woman into a white supremacist person. But based on, actions, based on some of your actions and your words, man, it's safe to suspect that you are white supremacist. No, I'm not. And most I, likely you might be married to one, ma'am. No, I'm not. Who are you married to? What, what's your husband? What was he from? Well, none of your business. That's how it is. <laughs> well, well white supremacist. probably white supremacist. What's right? your wife? My wife is a beautiful red bone black queen. From what I recall, I think Tommy Sotomayor said that your wife's father or mother is a Jew or something. So your wife's right. a Jew. Okay. So you're trolling. kind of tied to Jewish. No, I'm just Tro saying. Trolling, I'm right. You're and, trying and, to get into my personal business. And, and shout business. out to Tommy, by the way. Shout out to Tommy for finessing you white supremacists. Tommy just it's says. It's not it. finessing. Yeah, it's, 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 shout out to the homie Tommy for finessing you white supremacists. He says off the wall shit so that he can get clicks and views and money from the clicks and I ain't mad at him. If y'all believe that stupid shit, that shows how low your IQ really is, ma'am. But go ahead, dear. And shout out to Tommy. Go ahead, dear. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, out of however many people are listening right now, there's me and you. Nobody this, else yeah. wants to come up as a speaker. So maybe yeah, there's a act, problem with you. No, no, no maybe people don't want to be in. No, actually, there's dozens of requests, ma'am. There's about 40 people who's requesting right now. I just brought you up because you kept making little hand signals. And I just wanted to see what else you wanted to say. You just wanted to talk to Black Daddy. That's why you. I didn't make hand you. signals. Yes, you did. You're trying to get back up. That's why you listen to the time. You listen to Tommy. You're listening to me. You're sitting there fantasizing when you're laying up under white daddy and that wet dog smell ain't really satisfying you. You're like, oh my God, what are the blacks doing? Right? Come on, Beth, talk to me. Talk black to me. <laughs> well, yeah? if you unmuted me, I would be able to talk. It's right. funny how you do that. Right. So unmute me. And then right. I can talk. Right. So right. I know you, you, got, right. you got 
You got soul fantasies. I know. I know. I have soul fantasies. No, actually, I was just speaking to the topic. Right. And I can see that out of desperation, you have nobody else fucking coming up to speak. So I did. But that's not true. That's not true. I've been talking to people and watch your mouth. I know. I know you're not the most. you know, refined person. I know you came from a trailer park, but you don't have to act like that. You know, let's not have a potty mouth, okay? Um, but there are several people calling and talking, and I'm corresponding with them. No, I didn't come from a trailer park, and you know nothing about me. Yeah, ma'am. And no, nobody else is coming up. But yeah. I did. Ma'am, you do come from a trailer park, ma'am. You have a trailer park mindset. And you have to focus on black people all day to get your mind off being poor trailer trash. And you sitting up there drinking a Paps Blue Ribbon, um, smoking meth. And no, I'm like to, every and, and listening to some Ariana Grande albums, whatever you white supremacists like doing. No, but, I'm like every other white person who has to see videos of black women and men beating people for no fucking reason. Are you crazy? <laughs> And the only thing that's getting beaten is white cootie cat by black soul poles, which is what happened to you when you were younger, ma'am, when you were 19, 20. That's the only thing that's getting beat. Nobody's beating on anybody, ma'am. That's a fantasy that you have. You got these weird fantasies that you're projecting on the black people, Beth. You will never get reparations because of your behavior. Ma'am, we're going to get reparations. Um and the reparations is coming in the form of white cooch. That's a form of reparations to some of the, the Tommy Soda Myers and people like that. You guys are paying people like that their reparations in white cooch. And we're going to get the reparations in cash, too. Okay? So no, you won't. Because the country will, will... No. The country will suffer. And everybody will go under. Because if any money is paid out... The people will spend the money, cause inflation. It will crash the entire economy. Ma'am, when you and your community went out there and bought all of that meth and fentanyl, that didn't crash the economy. It didn't. And our reparations checks are not going to crash the economy. It's going to boost the economy because we as foundational black Americans, we're going to use our ingenuity to build (laughs) this economy. Right, right, ma'am. Right. Just like you have foundational meth in your pipe. So, yes, foundational black Americans, we're going to boost and stimulate the economy with our reparations checks, ma'am. And you know what that means? That's going to be more fentanyl for you. So you should be happy that we're going to do great. There is no such thing as foundational black Americans. (laughs) Ma'am, there's 43 million of us, ma'am. Yes, we are. And if it weren't for us, you wouldn't it's have It's make believe and you're your Ma'am, 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 everything is make believe. We're foundational black Americans. We are a distinct lineage. If it were not for our distinct lineage building this nation, you would still be somewhere in Poland scratching your ass, eating an egg sandwich. All right. Are you serious? Uh, as a heart attack. No, you're not, because you know better. The white Europeans are the reason why everything exists today. Good luck with your fucking... Watch your little dirty potty mouth, ma'am. We don't want that potty mouth here. This is not the potty mouth hour. All right, she left. She left. She's getting very frustrated because... She knows reparations is coming, and you know she thinks that means less meth. No, it's going to be more meth for you, ma'am, because the economy is going to be boosted, so there's going to be more businesses. So you can still get, get high, and you'll be able to smoke and do what you do. The wet dog smell will be more pronounced but because of you sweating and being mad, but you know it's going to be a great thing. It's going to be a phenomenal thing. All right? Let's get, um, let me see. J.W. J.W. in the building. And a lot of folks in here. What's up, Sister Brooke? I see you down there below. What you doing up this late, Brooke? One, two, three, four. It should should be four o'clock in the morning out there in New York. All right. Um, J.W., you good? J.W., are you good? What's going on, brother? I appreciate you bringing me up. 
my man. How you doing, J-Dub? I'm doing good, man. Hey, how can you explain white supremacy when foreign blacks, Asians, Indians are benefiting more from the system than whites? The hell they are. That ain't true at all. There's nothing remotely true about that. They're not the big, top big, economic big. earners are Asians. There's multiple different no. ethnic groups from Asia. That's not true. Indians, West Indian, uh, not black true. immigrants are, are benefiting more from the American system than whites. No, no, they're not. They're not. No, they're not. They're not. No, they're, they're not. That's true. What y'all do, y'all get those medium household incomes and then y'all try to conflate it into something else. No. They show some of these immigrant groups, they have high, medium household incomes per capita. But all that means is that it's a bunch of them living in a damn house together. And yeah, if they work a whole bunch of minimum wage jobs and there's 20 people in the house. Yeah, the medium- That's not house- accurate, brother. We're talking okay. about wages and earning. No, we're not talking about wages. Yes. What's not? No, it's not. We're would talking you, would about- Would you say that you no, benefit no. from- Slow down, because you're not going to sit here and lie. We're talking about just the medium household income. And if you got a bunch of people working minimum wage in one house, yeah, the medium household income is going to be higher. All right? It's not that they work harder, they got some kind of... It's none of that. It's just more than... You would say that there isn't a difference in the culture? No, no, no. they come from a culture of failure. It's all right, not listen. The- would you agree that all <laughs> Americans have privilege? How? How? Wait, wait, you go back. You say something and elaborate on what you're saying. I mean, you're so not you gonna, you're not gonna uh, elaborate the on what that. Elaborate. Asian, the top earning ethnic groups in America are Asians, okay. Indians, West Indians. Even make more than white Americans. That's a fact. If you go off individual income, so so it doesn't that's, really that's how validate so the claim of white supremacy. That's not true. What you just sitting here lying. You're lying your ass off. No, right? it's not a lie. It's a fact. You're lying listen, your ass off. They don't earn their wages. Listen, we're, on the cusp, we're on the cusp of work. They make, you're not going to talk over me. The f- don't talk over me. You can tell when somebody lying, you just get to talking fast and you won't elaborate. That's how you can tell somebody's lying. You lie and then start talking fast and talking over somebody and won't elaborate. We're gonna, we're gonna. I want to break down. Sir, all I, I want to break down your lies one by one because you know I'm going to debunk your lies. That's why you keep trying to move on to the next lie. Now we ain't going to do that now. Now let's cover the first lie. You said it was about. Is it their culture? Elaborate on that. What's the culture that makes them earn all of these high wages you're talking about? What's the culture? Unmute your microphone, Jay. Oh, my bad. What's the culture? <laughs> Let's take a look at acceptance rates in universities. What ethnic group has the lowest standards? What's the culture? I asked you a question. Don't change the, the, the culture. culture is better education, more discipline, higher, higher, uh, lower single parenthood rates. So why are they full of paternity fraud suits and poverty and filth and degradation in their homelands? Because they come to America and benefit from American privilege. And that's my point. Oh, we're on no, the cu- listen, said, we're on no, the cu- oh, you just said the culture. So if they come from yes. this culture, why are their homelands not reflective of this culture? Because why the immigrants they- that come here are the best from that area. The best Nigerians, <laughs> the best from Nigeria then come to America and benefit. Come- how come the best ain't making that a livable place then? Because of this, because of the opportunities that are here in America. How come, that are, that they, don't have the, how come they didn't create the opportunities over there? Like because we create they're benefiting from the American system. How come they couldn't benefit from their own culture? Because it, there aren't opportunities there. There There's, you go. They're underdeveloped that, third world that, countries. That, right. So they had to come over here. That's around. that's not. That's not pertinent to the yeah, discussion we're having. Yeah, we're talking so about just, culture. So yeah, so their individual culture, culture their, of so their culture is failure in their homeland, right? So if the, you have to come around us to exhume this great culture, that means we're the secret sauce, right? Right. 
if you have to come over here in order to be successful. Right. American culture. Right, which is us, foundational black American. No, it's not black. It's yes, American it culture. It's foundational Listen, black. It's foundational black American culture. Those immigrants would not have been able to come over here if it weren't for us. You wouldn't have birthright citizenship if it weren't for the grassroots of foundational black Americans. Let's get it straight. Listen, it's brother. Black culture. The, the birthright. Please stop. Please stop muting me. Hold on. No, because you're not. You're gonna get a history lesson, sir. Birthright citizenship, y'all, tethers being able to come over here and anchor your babies, that was a black grassroots movement. William Nesbitt and brothers like that created that. They fought and died for that. That was a black movement. The immigration movement in the 1960s was on the tail end of the civil rights movement. That was an offshoot of our movement. The fact that you can come over here in large numbers, especially as a melanated person, that is black culture, sir. And that's pertinent to the overall discussion as well, how the civil rights movement was subverted by the neo-Marxist postmodernists, along that's with the, with like the third wave feminists that they hijacked play. the popularity of Martin Luther King. Uh -huh. Then Martin Lyndon B. Johnson White came into office, pushed the, 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 the great war on poverty. The single parenthood rate started skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. The culture broke down. And People you know what? Being raised by hip hop culture instead of their and, parents. They're being raised you know, by the streets. Okay, and the, you know one of the reasons why the single rates, the single parent rates hopped up too? A lot of the, the immigrants coming over here anchoring these damn babies all over the place. That's another reason people don't talk about why the single mother thing popped off. A lot of people were foreigners and they were coming over here laying up with folks to anchor them babies over here. Three. And that, it, that you need to take accountability. What other culture celebrates fucking bitches and sending them home in an Uber pool? Sleeping with women without responsibility. Y'all tether, y'all do that all the time in your homeland. Man, see, this is the problem. Uh -huh. We're on the cusp of World War Three. We're on the cusp you, of the Civil you, War. No Listen, friend. let me speak, and, brother. And you ain't over in your homeland doing anything about none of the wars. Sorry. No, I'm I'm American. I don't care where no. I come from. Oh no, you a tether. No, I'm I'm an American. I don't care about identity you politics. Tether. You a tether. I'm grateful for the American system, and I'm tired right. of it decaying because of internally parasitic culture. No, Listen. but yeah, parasites like people who flee, like you. You no fled. grifters, Your grifters family. like you. Ooh, no, no, no. You grifted on a boat to flee here, sir. That's I don't know where grift. I come from. I'm not interested in, do, in do, my do, lineage. Do. I'm interested well, in making an impact. Listen, sir, you're a tether. You fled here. Your family Listen, fled. Listen, brother. The you fact is, we here. all have American privilege, and it's no, no, eroding. No, no, Listen. No, 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 no. The no. way you pay for privilege is with no. virtue. That's what no. justifies the privilege. You are a parasitic tether whose family fled here. You're different from me. Okay. Listen, I know that I impact in a positive way. No, you I don't. Impact everyone impact, around you me. Didn't, you didn't impact the place you fled from. How are you going to impact us? Huh? How are you going to impact us and you didn't impact the place you damn fled from? Listen, it, brother, you you use the same tactics. I, I was born here. I don't, I don't know where I... You're an anchor baby. All right? You keep cutting me off. Let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're not like, you not like us. You not like us. You not like us. The song is about you. You can't sit here talking about you. The song is corny as hell. No, it ain't that corny. It's corny to a tether. No, it's a, it's it's a about terrible you. beat. It's a corny song. It's, it's, a, it's, it's overhyped. It's, it's, and it's, it's, and who cares it's about you're not like us? You We're ain't all like the same. We need to cooperate no. and stop defecting. We need, to, with we need to integrate with each Why other. And we stop. need to cooperate with a flea and tether who has vitriol towards us and who's ungrateful. No vitriol. I have nothing but love. You got you vitriol. Great hell. What the hell? I need to call, do something with you. What are we going to do with you? Collaborate on intellectual ideas and, and create synergistic opportunities. Do you understand what synergy is? Did you create is? that in your failed homeland? That your I created it here in America. This is my How homeland. How come you didn't create it back in your homeland? Because I've never... Listen, brother, you I keep muting me. It's hard to keep a train of thought. Stop muting me. You over here pointing the finger talking Listen, about hip-hop. I've and never been anywhere... You're right, sir. I'm muting you now. You're sitting here talking about hip-hop and all of that. And you got all types of weird stuff in your homeland, don't you? You ain't like us. You, you, you are, 
You were angry. Great. Wouldn't you say that hip hop culture is the most degenerative culture? No, ever it created? ain't. No, it ain't the most degenerate. The, the, your tether culture, y'all over there. When are you going to take no, a no, 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 no. What's degenerate is crapping in the streets, leaving orphans all over the place, having paternity fraud in all of these foreign countries, female circumcisions that y'all forcing on people, selling your children to white tourists. That's degenerate culture. You understand? You're not going to come from some of these little filthy places and then try to point your finger at some rappers saying words because a lot of these rappers are performative with their stuff. Many of these rappers, you look at a lot of rappers now, most rappers, a lot of these guys are married with family. Snoop Dogg, married with a family. Lovely wife. Nelly's getting married to Ashanti. Two You're chains. talking about old rappers. Killer Mike is married. Yeah, you get married when you get older. You young, you're going to be out here doing the single man thing. Tariq, yeah. listen, man, when are you going to take accountability for no, proselytizing? No, no. You take, when, you take when, responsibility for being a fleeing failed tether. Why am I going to have somebody from a fleeing lineage tell me about taking some damn responsibility? how that work? Huh? How somebody who's an anchor baby? Don't tell us about the response. Brother, I was born here. I'm not sure where an my, my lineage is from because I'm not interested. Yeah, I'm yeah, interested yeah, yeah, in yeah. making the most of my circumstances right. and for those around, fellow Americans. I love right. everyone in because, this room. I want to see, see people it. overcome. I hate no, seeing no, people no, overcome no, with, with these issues. Within sir, no, no, no. You're trying to project your failure onto us. That's what failure. I'm more successful than you, brother. No, you're not, sir. You're not more successful. Yes, I am. Do you know no. who I am? Do you remember when I humbled you years ago? Sir, when, how when they tried to cancel me for, for exposing the fraud to Mika Mallory, exposing all the false narratives pushed by BLM? Oh, oh yeah, you're the producer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember you now? Oh, so, so you remember when everything I said was righteous, and you were you were proselytizing your audience to go against Trump. Now right. you see where we're at with Biden getting into uh, World War Three. Well, no, people can't put food on the table, can't put no, gas so, in the tank. And, and, now you're this, switching and up, trying on. to endorse Trump. Now, this is a white man, by the way. This is a this is a white man. He's you know. You remember I humbled you? You were punching air in your little interview with Riza afterwards. That's a that's a fantasy. Your fantasy. No, I was you telling you about the issues with the talking from these. No, no, you took an L. You you took an L from Black Daddy, and you feel a certain way about it. You took an L from Black Daddy, and what's interesting, you're talking about how degenerate hip hop is. You have made money off hip hop. Producing hit records, right? So how are you going to sit here? I, and and I speak out about against the culture, and I mentor voice. all the kids I collaborate with. Wow, this listen, is a person. Do you know anything this, about this? Is a person who's leached off our culture and listen to him. This is a white. Brother, man. I've contributed more to the culture than you have. No, you haven't, sir. Yes, you I have. Avoided our culture. No, you, you haven't, haven't done shit but grift and make corny Dude, ass documentaries. I'm a I'm a foundational black American, sir. How and can I grift a, off my, a, what have you done? How can I grift off myself? It's my culture. You're a white man. This ain't your culture. You're a guest in this culture. Listen, brother, when this are we gonna advance culture? and stop? Hold on. This isn't your culture. At all. You're a guest in the culture. You're a guest in the country. You're not even from the lineage. You're a foreigner, dude. What are you talking about? You're very confused. You're very, very confused. Listen, stop muting me. Let's talk. Let's grow. Let's build. I love you, Tariq. Right. If it ain't love, it's fear. What are you afraid yeah, of, brother? But you're very confused. Well, you're the one with the struggle. What are you uncertain about? Let's get to the facts. Yeah, let's get to the projection. Okay, the, when when you were you pushing have the BLM device. shit and pushing the defund the police, now look at your city. You can't even go outside with your watch on. You get you get it snatched. That's you. You're soft. Where can I go? Who's gonna snatch something from me? Bro, are you telling me there's not an issue with crime in LA with these uh, with these woke dude. George Soros prosecutors that aren't uh, prosecuting dude, any criminal activity? I, I can go all over LA. In every hood. You remember I'm I sent good. you the DM and told you, let's get a celebrity boxing for 50K and you never responded. The, how are we going to have a celebrity boxing match with one celebrity? You're not what do you mean, bro? You're not a celebrity. Oh, whip your get 50 racks. That, we'll a, put, we'll each put 50 up. Because you were yapping, saying I was soft and a white boy, this right. and that. You're not, 
Yeah, but you would never put 50K up and get a boxing match with me. You're not a celebrity. You're not a celebrity. You can come get your ass whooped for free. Bro, everything if happens. We, we, we could put it on camera. Or right. we could build. You're, you're not a celebrity. That's not... I, I don't care about that. Listen, right. what I care about is, is, you are, you are is making adjustments to the poor culture and get into cooperation no. so we could start creating a bigger piece of the pie and no. start redistributing yeah. fix, resources fix your, instead of having the, grifters like you snatching... No, no, fix the... No, you grifted off my culture. That's you projecting... No, but you're no, brother, I built. Like you're, a, you're a suspected white supremacist grifter off my culture, sir. That's you projecting. You are a leech. Well, how am I projecting? Uh, I built everything from you. scratch. No, you haven't. You've been leeching Every beat off I my made culture. Start with started by You've leached off my culture, sir. And you continue to leech off my culture. Hip-hop is foundational Black American culture, sir. That's why you got a problem with our film microphone check, don't you? Because you said something about the deck. How do you feel about microphone check? Have you seen it yet? I wouldn't watch any of your corny shit ever since you now, made why, that buck breaking shit, bro. Yeah, that's about your community too. The the sexual. No, you you, you 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 got your rocks off with that homo shit. No, no, no. That's you. That's your Greco-Roman culture. You guys got mad because I explore. I explored no, your culture. I didn't watch that goofy shit. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. That's your culture. That's white supremacist culture. You guys have always been homoerotic, sir. That's your culture, all right? And this, the, my film microphone check probably has you salty, too, because we're letting folks know who's guest in our culture, and that would be you. You're a guest in the culture, sir. All right? Listen, brother, when are you going to take accountability and start contributing in a positive when way? When are you going to go to Europe and fix up the slums that your family fled Bro, from? I'm American. I'm not. Yeah. You're, listen, you're, I love people globally, but we need to handle these issues in terms of European. You're like European. I said, we're on the cusp of a civil war because of this sir, polar. Sir, you're a European wigger trying to act like me and my. I would co- never say, don't you see all these goofy motherfuckers you saying try, the end? Listen to you trying to have the same voice inflection as me and my community. Listen to you. Listen to you. You're trying to sound like us. You're trying to act like us. But you ain't got the majority spirit of a foundational black American. That's why there's Listen. hate. That's why there's no, hate. No, bl- black Americans are the that's, strongest yeah, that's human beings. All that, see, that's why I tell people that old yo, yo, yo word to the mother. I tell people I ain't never like that. When these guys come around with that yo, yo, yo talk, y'all remember back in the Mac Lessons days, I said, you watch out for them. The yo, yo, yo word to the mother dudes like that, they are the sneakiest dudes out here. I don't like it. Get away from me with that stuff. If you come around me, be white. Talk white, act white. Just do white stuff. I can respect that. All that, yo, 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 let's build my brother. Uh, No. That's all cap. Dudes who do that, those are ops. Because I've seen how those dudes get when they get around police. Boy, they start talking like Justin Timberlake. I'm a white boy. I don't don't want to gangbang no more. I just want to be white like me and you, sir. I's not a nigga anymore. They switch up on your ass, you see, and listen to him. This guy has exploited our culture, and now he's talking about how hip hop is such a degenerate culture. After you've made your money off of it, boy, these people are parasites. Listen, Tariq, have I said yo 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 once? Yeah, that's your no, whole I haven't. Vibe. Stop that's with the same old aura. antics, brother. All the ad hominem attacks because you can't debate me because I'm slaughtering you right now, dude. I'm You're not built. To- Get, get out of here. I've already destroyed you. Yeah, I'm done. I've already packed this guy up in a debate years ago. And he's still salty about it. Yeah, see, this is why the yo, yo, yo word to the mother dudes. I'm not impressed when I see that. Red flag. R- major red flag when I hear that yo, yo, yo word to the mother talk. All right. By the way, for more information about Microphone Check, go to microphonecheck.com. When it goes back in theaters in a few weeks, everybody go out and see it. Gotta go see Microphone Check. Man, we got 
1,100 people in here in the middle of the night. I love y'all, man, but I got to get up out of here because I do have a shoot in the morning. I thank everybody for tuning in. We had some good conversations tonight, man. I think it was a good vibe tonight. Some very funny, good conversations. And y'all go to my Tariq Radio YouTube channel. Subscribe. Everybody subscribe now, and then you will um, you get to hear the playbacks over there. All right? Fuck you, niggers. Fuck niggers. Oh. Fuck you, niggers. Kira. Kira. That doesn't eat. That that doesn't eat like you. Shut up, nigger. Go with your watermelon. Okay, watermelon is very good. It's better than avocado wraps, okay? Watermelon is very, very good, white supremacist man. And that's not really offensive. You yelling the N-word. You dig? You're just yelling the N-word over and over again because you're yelling out of a sense of pain. Talk to me, Kira. Okay. Oh, what what are you posting up? You posting up weird white supremacist stuff? What are you posting up, Kira? I can't see what he's posting up, but I'm gonna take it out of here, Kira. All right, Kira. Anything else to say? Any more racial epithets you want to get out before we go? Let Let's hear it. Let's hear some of the best ones. Give me some some good racial epithets. Well, uh, you know, I did want to speak earlier during the debate that you had with the lady from earlier and the guy that you were just speaking with but um i did want to bring up a lot of points but you didn't really seem to bring up any other people it seemed sort of like a one-on-one discussion but uh i've noticed that you don't really touch on the topic of the jews in which you talk about american culture um and that's quite ironic so you could just yeah okay so you ain't got nothing to say so i've already defeated you so all right thank you no all right i've already defeated you um, how come you don't talk about the Jews means you defeated me. So I'm going to take my victory lap. I will accept your concede and, um, you've conceded to me and you're saying that I won because all that is, is a deflection. So yeah. So I'll take that win. Anytime they start deflecting into, well, what about the Jews? That's their way of saying you've defeated me. And now it's, that's how white supremacists, they, you know, they're, they're, they're like children almost. They have to just deflect and try to change the subject and then babble and waste time when they lose. So that's a tactic that y'all got to get used to. So when they start babbling and cursing and whining and yelling racial epithets, that means black daddy spanked them intellectually. And I'll take that. They got a nice black spanking from FBA daddy. All right. Let's get um, Yankee Bourbon in the building. Yankee Bourbon. Yankee Bourbon, hop on, sir. Yankee Bourbon. Hey, Tariq. How you doing, bud? It's been a while. It's been a while, Yankee Bourbon. What's happening in the, um, the white supremacist world over there? Oh, it's beautiful. But there's hardly any black folks around me. It, it I, is, I know. I, hey, man. It's we beautiful. <laughs> That wet dog smell, we can't be around it too long, man. It messes with our nostrils. But what's on your mind? Well, I just wanted to say it's unfortunate you took the W when a Prodigal came up here. He was touching on a really good point. And it's a point I think you actually are well aware is true, that you've, you've already been replaced. You guys lost the chance for reparations. You had it. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Because we're getting reparations. We, we, we're on the track of getting that now. So we didn't lose anything. That's that's white supremacist wishful thinking. But go ahead with your fantasies. Go ahead. Well, no, it, it, they're your fantasies, not mine. I'm not in favor of reparations, but I think you got. I know that. I know that. But we're getting them and that's what it is. But go ahead. Well, unfortunately, you guys bought the shuck and jive the Democrat sold you. And right. Now, so, yeah, and the whole Democrat thing, we don't give a damn about the Democrats. We don't give a damn about the Republicans. We're looking at all of them are just one big glob of white supremacy, and they're just going to have to give us our money. So, yeah, we're not doing the Republicans are the bad guy. The Democrats are the bad guy. The Jews are the bad guy. The Zionists are the bad guy. The Illuminati, they're the bad guys. Don't give a damn about none of that. All of y'all give us our money. How about that? Right? Well, I'll just say they want you as politically irrelevant as the Native Americans. And thanks, right. to, thanks to your voting record, that's exactly where you guys, you're going to find yourselves now. We're Irre- relevant. Enough to be, po- the, politically they're, irrelevant. They're trying to gain our vote 
So they're campaigning very hard to get the vote from us, both parties. And we're saying in order for us to move on a vote, y'all better come up with those tangibles and that's going to be reparations. All right. That makes uh, sense. Well, I suspect they'll they'll do the shuck and jive one more term. This is probably it. You'll hear you'll hear the usual crowd saying, "Yeah, yeah, we're in favor of uh, reparations," just like they did three and a half years ago, right? If they said exactly what you wanted to hear, and ninety percent of the Black American community came out and voted for them. And what'd you get out of that? You got nothing. In fact, what you got was open borders. Now, that's not a Republican policy. That is very much a Joe Biden, Obama, Democratic policy. They now, really, what did you get? Now, what did you get for voting for Trump as a white man? What did you get? Well, I did have a closed border for pretty much. Not really. Not really. The border was open under Trump, too. They weren't deporting a lot of had, people. under. had a pretty Trump. solid economy as well. Right. They weren't deporting a lot of people under Trump. So let's get off that. They were still letting people over here flood the zone. Yeah, no, what did you get, sir? Well, you, see, you don't really need to deport as many if you're not letting that many in. Oh, okay, now, come sir, on. as under, a white under, man, what did you get under Trump? Well, I've already told you two very solid tangibles, right? You've got Nothing. 15 million people just under, under your boy's watch here who've come in and they're flooding your community. They're not flooding my community, Tariq. They're flooding yours. But, but, they're, now, getting, but they're getting your tax dollars, too. You understand? They're getting well, your that, tax dollars. Well, so is, so is everybody else, my friend. Right. They're getting your tax dollars, sir. You understand? So you didn't really benefit when under Trump either. You didn't benefit. And y'all well, been... See, I sympathize. I sympathize with the foundational black Americans. I, I appreciate I sympathize with, black and I American sympathize with. I sympathize with some of the poor white supremacists because you guys have to toe the line for the rich ones who exploit your ass and don't give you nothing. They have you working as the foot soldiers while they count all the money and then leave you in the trailer park um, with your 4chan memes. So I sympathize with you to a certain degree. Yeah. Oh, those are my people. I love those guys. I know it. I know Hilarious. that. Hilarious. You guys share a very similar sense of humor. There you go. Thank you so much. All right. Anyway, family, what well, these white supremacists are doing the most. And anyway, I'll be here all night with these white supremacists going back and forth. All right, let me chill. Let me get out of here. Anyway, man, go to rootworkstyle.com and get your rootwork deodorant. Everybody loves that lucky lavender. I got on some lucky lavender now, ladies and gentlemen. That's my personal favorite. It it, it, it feels good on your body. That lucky lavender kills the game and it gives you good energy. Some of that foundational black American spiritual energy. You understand? And um, go get the book, Hidden Heroes from A to Z. You hear all these white supremacists in here? You better start getting your children gamed up very young. We need to get their minds right and get them on the right track to understand racism and black empowerment at a very early age. Because family, like our brother James Small says, once you know your history, boy, these people can't really mess with you. When you know your history, you own everybody's ass. They can't really touch you like that. They can't really mess with you. You know, so these white supremacists coming in, they come in here with all of, all of their lies and trolling and deflecting. And because I know history and many of you know history, they don't stand a chance in these spaces. They don't stand a chance. They get blown out of the water very quickly. Then they just reduce themselves to racial epithets and N-word and, you know, because they're not used to black people spanking them like that, you know, especially black people who are grassroots and intellectual like we have in these spaces. Why y'all, look at how many of them in here. They stay in these spaces. Family, look at what time it is right now. It's like five o'clock in the morning on the East Coast. Over a thousand people in here. You understand? But I digress, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get out of here. Hey, man, hiddenhistorymuseum.com. Get the book, Hidden Heroes. Uh, cruising through in the black on black with my family. Bending corners, triple tinted.